Mr. Beast, get in that factory, turn that chocolate yourself, stock it in the stores. You don't have to give them SQ codes, nothing. Just go in there and start selling. Sell it outside the store, actually, like the little Girl Scouts. Yeah, do that if you want to get it. If you really care about your fans wanting your chocolate, you would do that. You would go stand outside Ralph's and sell it. I would love to see that, actually. Welcome back to Just Trish. I just had so many Thin Mint cookies and they get in your teeth. That's why I went into the thing. I was like, there's so many Thin Mints in my teeth right now. I had a peanut butter sandwich, ruffles, and Thin Mints and a glass of milk. So I think it was pretty substantial. I was, we had leftover pizza. I almost had that, but because we're having Little Caesars for our Patreon today, our little puffs. What are they called again? Those little cheesy puffs? Cheesy puffs, oh, I don't maybe? Know. I forget what they're called, but you, everyone loves them, so. I saw it too, and I didn't think it was that big of a deal until you texted me. And you're like, oh no, these are out. And I was like, oh, okay. Because like, I knew they were, like, I saw them on my page, but I didn't think they were like viral. And you're like, we have to try these. I, I just kept coming up and up and up, and all the tweets about them had like 3 million views. And I was like, I guess this oh. is like a big deal. People say it's like when the Popeyes are. Was it the Popeyes, the chicken sandwich? Yes. Like, it's similar to that. This really? Craze. Yeah. People live for it. And I didn't even know we had a Little Caesars close to us, but it's actually on DoorDash. So <laughs> we're going to do a little Little Caesars cheesy puff on our Patreon. Shout out Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Just Trish. We just posted a Fortnite one that y'all loved. You know, we were <laughs> crushing it. Killing it, you might say. For Women's History Month. I love it. Good job on the title. <laughs> and Pokimane is randomly in there as if she's, I'm like, and we're following each other and she might come on the podcast. I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to think like, what are you doing? You're trying to use my image. <laughs> had nothing to do with it, but did we mention her at least? We Hopefully. did. Okay. Yeah. That's how I got Pokemon. the idea. Go and buy her like cookies <laughs> and her Stanley Cup coming out soon. We love Pokimane and um, I think she's coming on the podcast soon. So Slay. Patreon.com slash Just Trish. We do two bonus videos. We do an extra about 45 minutes to an hour of the podcast right after this podcast is over, plus a bonus video on Saturdays. Um, this week, you'll get Little Caesars Cheesy Puffs, and I'm super excited about it. And we also have tiers. We have a headshot tier. We have a new headshot this month. It's not here yet. Oh, actually, it was in the shared yes, album. The yes, folder. I want you to vote. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to order them, but I was we were in Vegas all last week when my photos came out, so I couldn't even order them because I, I just I, – I never, I don't know. I didn't work this trip on Vegas. So um, if you want, I'm doing A, B, or C. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you're going to put it on here. Vote in below. Should we have A, B, or C? They're kind of like pretty much all look the same. But there's one of me like this. And then, uh, and then uh, there's one that Moses can't stand. He's like, definitely not that one. And I was like, oh, my God. He's like, your mouth. I was like, what? To me, like completely normal. Guess which one it is. We don't have it here. But he said that. I was like, and Moses like doesn't really say anything like that. And I was just like, okay, damn. Okay, we'll use that one. Why wasn't? But it's not your mouth. It's the edit, something in the photo, the editing or something. I had to look good. Something okay. lines up. The teeth line up a certain way. Well, don't say what it is. They were supposed to guess. You'll guess All it. All right. You'll guess it. <laughs> and if you know, I kind of already have my favorite. I think I have my favorite. But anyways, we want to know yours. Truly, what everyone gets the most vote, let us know. So vote. If you're doing the live chat, we'll do a poll. And if not, just leave it in the comments below. Change to our producer tier a little bit for the next couple months. Um, so our custom notes will still be on this. However, we have run out of Hot Topic cards. <laughs> we literally. <laughs> Really had them stacked up since July, and we're running low. Um, and there's just so many producers. We love you. So for the next couple months, if you are a producer, you will still get a handwritten note from me. But it's actually going to be to your producer name here. So whatever your name is on the credits, I'm going to write out a little handwritten note, a little special special message from me to you. And I have to say, it's a personalized message, not a custom message, because my sister's like, then they're going to be like, can you write this? This is it's a personalized. Whatever I want to say, I'm going to say it to you. But it's going to be handwritten. I don't know if that's too much, but I think that's kind of cute actually i think for a couple months it'll be kind of cute to have like a little handwritten note it'll be your name whatever your producer name is so um yeah i don't know there's just a lot of moving parts everything seems complicated but it's we're gonna figure it out and um yeah we'll have the headshot and the sticker reveal next week so stay tuned for that patreon.com slash just trish that is our sponsor today thank you thank you thank you um you look great how are you you look like you just went on vacation i saw you i'm like oh my god you just came really? back from Nantucket or something oh wow no, maybe the first Weekend without an award show in a long time. So I have that, like, oh, yeah, actually glow. having the weekend off glow. Yeah. What did you do? Not much. Not much. I did a lot of research for today. I was like, let me really prepare, get some good, juicy topics. So we have a lot of fun things to talk about. I'm but excited. that's pretty much it. That's what you did on the weekend? You did? <laughs> yeah. I usually reserve it for like a Sunday afternoon. I was like, okay, let me get some nut. But Saturday too? Yeah. 
Did you do anything fun? Um, I played some Fortnite. Callie really got me into like the Fortnite mood again. So yeah, I've you were some Fortnite. You were the MVP. You were the victory royale. Spoiler well, alert. I think because Callie was like focused on you, um, I think she would definitely. <laughs> like out slay me if she was like really playing you guys but. should really play and i'll just just end up dying or something <laughs> and just leave me there she kept saving me and wrapping me up and bandaging me and i was just like just leave me because i would love to see that'd be fun i love it i think that's yeah she she really gets into it she really loves it we'll have to set up another gaming day yes for sure let us know what you want to see us play maybe something like a little simple i don't mind fortnite like i feel like i'm getting a little bit better at it but um if you like fortnite let us know but i don't know maybe some some other game i don't know I'm up down for anything. You like Sims, Minecraft? Yes, I love Sims. Minecraft is cursed right now, I think. Why? But because oh, of all the Minecraft those Minecrafters. Boys? Yeah. There's actually so many and I can't keep up with it. And it's like Mr. Beast. Oh, we're trying feast. Did you bring the feastables? Yes, I did bring the feastables. You got the feastables from Target. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see if they hold up to the quality that they gave in the PR package. But Mr. Beast edited someone out. Yes, George is not found. Literally. He is <laughs> not, not where to be feastables. found. <laughs> I don't even know anything about it. Can we talk about it or no? Like the yeah, allegations? I don't know that much about it. That one was the one where the girl had just turned 18 and she, oh. I guess we have to say alleged, but she alleges claims that um, she got drunk. Her and her friends got drunk in a hotel room with mm -hmm. George is not found like the Minecraft boys. And then she, he started like cuddling her and like, allegedly put his hand like under her shirt oh i saw that one. yeah and like grabbed her eee. and she didn't like consent to it um eee. so that in a nutshell that is kind of what it's about yikes big yeah. yikes on all that yeah i just say you know i don't know i don't know either. i don't know this <laughs> minecraft boys yeah. are yeah <laughs> first of all i mean yeah like leave the freshly 18 girls alone okay just leave them alone for a minute also their fans like don't go alone with them in the hotel room i'm not blaming them obviously not but just these boys need to learn i don't know what they need to learn i guess you know yeah just you know keep your hands to yourself who mm -hmm. sings that that oh selena says can't keep my hands to myself oh. so don't listen to oh. selena <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be one that's like keep your hands to yourself <laughs> Oh, she said, oh, well, maybe they're listening to too much Selena Gomez. Maybe that's what's going on. <laughs> yeah. No, that's sad. I feel for it. It is. Yeah. I think in this day and age, you really just got to ask permission for every single thing. And I think that's not a bad thing. I used to be like, oh, my gosh, it'd be so hard to be a boy. Like, you know, whatever. Because you don't know. You don't know the signs. But maybe just ask. Be like, are we doing this? Uh -huh. Actually, Moses asked. He asked me if he could kiss me on our first date. I remember that. You were like, can I give you a kiss? And we were in the restaurant. I was like, oh, I don't know. It's like a restaurant. But it's kind of cute, actually. Yeah, you are. I mean, also, like, you don't want to be in public getting rejected, you know, <laughs> like going for a kiss no. and suddenly. Well, I think you feel the vibe, <laughs> but a little question wouldn't hurt, you know, like, you feel the vibe and then, like, can I? Yeah. But you can see how many men don't feel the vibe. Like, they don't. Uh, yeah, I think they miss the vibe for <laughs> sure. They're they're a little off with it. And I think, again, if you're, how old is, do we know how old George Not Found is? I mean, I'm sure he's I young. I think there's an eight year difference between the two. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Again, when you're like, literally, when there's a freshly 18 person or, you know, any, it's like, relax yeah, on them for a minute. Yeah, he's 27. He looks young, he but damn. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's the problem with these, like, influencers. And it's, back when I was an influencer, too, remember Luke Connard? He was not alleged yeah. anything. But remember? He was, like, literally 30, but acted like he was, like, 14. And he wasn't. He hadn't, he didn't have any creepy allegations. Let me just say this, okay? But, like, it was always weird because he'd always act like he was, like, 14. Like, you know, like, whatever. And it's just, like, I guess they just want to appear young to have, like, a young audience. Mm -hmm. But if you're 27, definitely leave those freshly 18 people alone. We actually have a guest coming up uh, this week that talks about it being freshly 18 and dating, I think, 27-year-old. That must be that age weird. yeah it was that age gap um that is weird that's a lot like again that age gap's not so big when you get a little older if you're like 25 okay yeah 32 whatever okay the age gap's not big but those freshly 18 year olds just 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 let them be fans and let them just be nice keep those hands back or hands <laughs> up i think gerard way does it or who is it bon jovi someone does it. someone always puts their hands up and i i appreciate that well don't have to do this this looks like you're <laughs> like under uh, or <laughs> but i think if you do like a, so i think it's gerard someone you know it back Oh, Keanu Reeves. Yes, he does. He's always like, hey. <laughs> so smart. Yeah, everyone should learn from Keanu Reeves. There's not one bad mark on his record, right? <laughs> no, everyone loves him. I don't think you've ever heard anything bad about Keanu Reeves. No, I heard he's a sweetie. All I yeah. hear is good stuff. Like he's reading a book on the thing. He's helping an elderly lady across the street. Like there's literally real stories like that. Mm -hmm. I would love him on the podcast. He's dating age-appropriate woman right now. We uh, love that. What's funny too is even I read like, people started commenting on my photo with Brooke when she was here uh, when we had the matching San Diego sweater. Uh -huh. When my arm was around her, there was like a gap this big. Oh, I think like it's like this, like from her. 
Was that purposeful or no, you didn't but know? Maybe subconsciously I'm like respect women, which makes sense for my brand, I think. Like, yeah, yeah. No, it is. I think it's just good in general. Yeah, it is good. Um, because you know what it is? And I'll just talk to speak of me as a, a female, you know, like that. Like when I was like 18, 19, or even younger, meeting celebrities, like at 15, 16, I was going to like book signings and stuff with like Michael Madsen and Steve Buscemi and just like actors I like really loved. Um, and yeah, it was weird because like sometimes you would love it, right? Like, I don't think anybody, not none of those people I mentioned, but like there would be times where they would like do like put it around and be like on your side and kind of like your side boob. And it's like, I was like 14 or 15. And there was times where it was like, oh, okay, this is like exciting. And then there's times like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. So it's like, it's very case by case with certain things. So it's like, it's just hard to like feel out the situation. And again, it's not, no pun intended, but I think it's just like, yeah, you kind of don't know. Because also like back in the day, I don't think they were being perverted, but you know, they just hold you and you're holding something, you're holding a waist, you're holding a side boob. Yeah, it's kind of – I'm like that too. I'm with – even when we take our pictures here, my hand's here. But it, with like fans and stuff too, I, sometimes I do a little bit on the back, like a little like tap on the back. Yeah. But I should probably too do it too because you just never know. And like respectfully, of course. So um, that's wild. That's sad. Mm -hmm. Anybody else in the gamer community or do we not want to call them well, out? I don't know. The other one was Wilbur suit that we kind of talked about last week with Shovel, Shelby. Oh. Um which that one was another crazy one too because they were dating for i think maybe two years or so um and then she had come forward and basically said that he was um i guess just abusive because he had like a allegedly has like a biting fetish but he was mm. biting her so hard that she, allegedly that like she literally <laughs> would have like the bruises and like the it was like cutting her almost oh. and they had like a safe word and stuff but and she would say it but he would be like, oh, no, like, it's fine. But then oh. he – people started noticing because he would uh, allegedly bite her in, like, <laughs> uh, places where you could see, like, her arms and stuff. Oh. But then when people started commenting on it, like, her friends, um, he started doing it, like, on her legs where, like, it would, wouldn't be, like, as obvious. So oh if he God. has to do that, that kind of shows that. I've never heard of a biting fetish before. Me either. But apparently that's, like, his thing. Because another Allegedly. ex came forward and said, oh, like, similar, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm not here to king shame, but... It has to be consensual and, like, you can't hurt someone, like, your partner. Yeah, I think if I were to king shame, I'd probably king shame biters. Like, that's kind of <laughs> yeah. odd. Like, why are you biting? Yeah. I think I could get down with almost anything else, but not that. Anything that's that painful like that and but like what does it do for you I biters no let, us know. Like, <laughs> let us know like i would yeah. love to know like i get like i don't even get the like little biting like the nibble but like a bite like that like uh -huh. are you trying to be like twilight or something like that but, yeah are you maybe? edward cullen coded i don't maybe know maybe people do like that like i'm sure there's a whole vampire community that maybe i don't know vampire community don't come from me that maybe is into <laughs> that you know I feel, hmm. It is very odd. And oh, I, I don't like it. Dream is kind of in the mix what? too. I think I think because he was, this is like, I think, I'm not 100% sure. I think he was in the room with George is not found and then the 18 year old girl oh. and he tried to like cover it up allegedly. So he's also kind of like in the mix. So it's that mm. whole like group is kind of going through it right now with the Minecrafters. But. Oh, well, hopefully it's a lesson learned or mm -hmm. hopefully the girls are okay hopefully everyone are they okay are they i saw the one girl on tiktok is she like okay now i think i mean i think it's just she's just sharing her story about yeah. comfortability yeah and what i on the bright side i guess the silver lining is i feel like again if this happened like a maybe like five years ago or something i feel like it would be overwhelmingly believing the boys and not like you know believing yeah the girls at all um, but I think that's like a good sign of the times that, that people are at least like hearing the victims out and, yeah. um, being supportive. It's good. I would rather people overly call out people. So people are just more cautious than, you yeah. Know, but yeah. But, oh, it did get wild. This is kind of like a newer thing that I saw with like, especially Wilbur's fans. So they're like the one direction of Minecraft, like these boys. And it was wild. I don't, I think this was debunked, but people were saying like fans were like, unaliving themselves over like Wilbur being canceled or something. It is actually like so oh odd. God. Yeah. I think it was debunked, but like people, the fans on Twitter are saying like, um, if they're canceled, like I can't live in this world anymore. Oh my blah, blah, blah. Gosh. And it's not that serious. Like you will find no, someone else to stay no. in. Yeah. It's fine. And like what we've learned from canceled people is they always come back, you know, they'll, you'll still get to love. Them. In fact, sometimes like, you know, when people like like Ted Bundy or something goes to prison, people write them letters. It's like they almost become more popular. Yeah. Not saying that, but you know what I mean. Like, I don't know. Anyways, Justice for Mendez Brothers. I hope they get out of prison. Oh, yeah. You know. Gypsy Rose is off. Social she media. She said bye. Speaking of. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, why? She's just like, the parole officer said she's going back or what? Uh, was that like, why? That's what I heard. She, yeah, she just said something like, I need to get off social media before I end up back in prison, which I think was a light joke, I think. But I don't know <laughs> if it was cut out for her because people started turning on her too a lot. And like, it'd be one of those things where, she, you know, she was like on all those like podcasts and stuff. So she would like right. talk about like the um, case and everything on like podcasts and people would like pick apart like the inconsistencies and stuff. Oof, yeah. She Especially was, when like, it comes to that kind of stuff, just you're you're done it's over you served your time let it just keep going rather before you incriminate yourself further <laughs> yeah then you just start saying stuff and then you're just like wait a minute mm -hmm. people never learn i always say going on podcasts never <laughs> never smart yeah. it is and you do gab a lot i get a lot of people that are just like oh, i did that and i get it i get it i've gabbed too but um yeah i guess gypsy rose won't be coming on our soon <laughs> yeah. the it girl is no longer the it girl no that it was changes a fast quick. one it mm -hmm. has changed that's how it happens three Jeez. months that's i have my it girl energy cup here from beauty creation oh Oh, love that. Yes. It Girl Energy with my water on your beauty. I did a campaign two weeks ago. It's coming out this Friday, March 22nd, Beauty Creations. It's called Pink Cloud, and it's right by me. Oh, here it is. It is a pink powder Ooh. by filter because you don't need a filter with this. It has um, – it's basically just like it like mattifies – beautifies any imperfection. It's just like good for you. It like lasts 14 hours. I wore it for the shoot, no creases. And I love it. My first beauty campaign at 35 years old. So thank you, Beauty Creations love Beauty that. at any age. Um, I think there's gonna be a billboard at the Cerritos Mall this weekend. I don't know, I think that's where it is. I'm gonna go look for it. But I was super excited that they asked me. No one's ever asked me to model for anything. And I was very excited that they wanted Pink Cloud, not to be confused with Cloud Pink by Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> pink Cloud. And I was I was sold on this pink uh, beauty powder. I learned how to use it i'm gonna do a little tutorial a little beauty tutorial so um if you guys could go to my instagram should you pay us back up um or their tiktok beauty creations and leave love because they've been posting behind the scenes the campaign pictures um so many people already did they're like thank you for choosing trish and i like love you guys for it um because it's a big deal because you guys know like i don't work with a lot of brands and i get really excited when i do and i actually really love beauty creations and they were great and they were wonderful and um yeah everything about it Oh, talk free. There's no talk in it. <laughs> talk? <laughs> talk. Talk free. Oh my gosh. I'm not a science. We're not a chemist, okay? We're not that. <laughs> it's talk free. That's the selling point of it. <laughs> it's talk free. Because I was in my mind saying the comments. It's like, no, not God. talk. That's oh awful. My Don't gosh. use talk. I get fired. So it's from good. It. Now you know. No it's, talk. It's great. It really is great. It really is. Like, my eyes literally did look so good underneath of it all. Um, I actually needed to use it today. I did not use it today because we were just opening up the PR packages and I just got it out now because it comes out Friday. But um, I will use it next time. It looks, it, it gives it that glow. The pink is, the pink is where it's at. So pink cloud, check it out. We love beauty creations and thank you. They actually kind of, I became on their radar because of this podcast. They watched the wow. Shawnee Bay episode. And Shoddy Bay shut down the mall because she was doing a meet and greet for Beauty Creations. Oh, my God. And they're like, oh, my God, that was so nice. You mentioned us. And I was like, I didn't even put two and two together. And I was like, oh, my gosh, yeah. So they can't. I wanted to do a meet and greet at their store because their store is in Cerritos Mall. Um, but that was the one that Shoddy Bay shut down. And so because of that, they can't have meet and greets <laughs> <Events>. there. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right. And I told them, I said, Shoddy Bay should be your next uh, uh, model. Cover because yeah. yeah. Because she's kind of influential, influential. That's how we got connected and stuff like that. So. Shout out Beauty Creations, and I just love, I just love the people they work with, <laughs> including me, so thank you so much. <laughs> it was fun. We did like a full shoot, full campaign. I felt, I felt like a model, so check out the talk free. <laughs> Am I saying it right? Talk. Talk? It's short for talcum. What's talcum? Oh my like, god, you look at you knowing science. You act like you don't know. What's talcum? It's like, like you know, talcum powder. It's like baby powder. Oh, why is that bad? I don't know. Oh. I don't know why it's bad, but. Yeah, it's a mineral. I know it's a mineral because wow. yeah, in geology class, I remember we had talcum and it's like it would come in a little rock and then if you like rubbed it, it would just turn into powder. Oh, interesting. You would think you'd want talc in a powder <laughs> then. Oh, That's no. odd. Huh. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a model. <laughs> I don't know the reasoning behind it. Just the beauty. Just yeah. the beauty. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I'm just the face of it. I think it really does do a test, though, because it's like literally when I put it on, I was like, my under eyes are really bad and my powder does get my creases. And I was kind of like, it actually does really work. And I'm not just saying that because I modeled it. It actually really does work. It's very mm. pretty. It's very pink. It looks aesthetically pleasing. Isn't so. the pink good for brightening? Isn't isn't the help with that? Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's probably it. It brightened my face. That's for yeah. sure. It did, and there's no flashback. That, that's what they were showing in the original photos. I had a lot of... 
obviously it's it was the baking process. So once you like, I learned so much. I didn't even know what this is. <laughs> once you take it, like brush it off, then it like reveals. But yeah, there's no flashback. That's why there was like flash on it. It's like really really pretty. So you're not gonna get any. What's it called? Flashback Mary. Yeah. Is that what James, James Charles? Charles. Mm-hmm. No flashback Mary here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, check it out. It's coming out Friday. But in the meantime, if you could just go leave love at the Beauty Creations. Um, Instagram page, TikTok, on my page as well. We did a collab. Um, that'd be great because I could use all the support. And it's because of you guys that I got this opportunity. Because lately, when I've been doing all these magazines and now this, it's like, I know, I don't know what it is, but I'm very thankful and grateful. It's because we have so many lovely people that are just like supportive and see the change, want to be part of the change. And they and honestly, the positive feedback makes me want to be a better person every day. Not to sound like I'm running for like politics, but it's like, I just want to be better. Like, I don't want to mess up at all. I don't want to like go back to old trolling ways. I just want to be the better, best version of me for you because you guys have really elevated me. And I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. So sincerely. Um, and we also have to talk about, um, speaking of award show, the award show season's not over. We have an award. I want That's an award. True. My <laughs> husband won it with me too. Moses, how are you over there, by the way? Love this outfit. Um. I'm doing great. I just came back from. Let me show you. Wow! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Why did you make that noise? Did something hurt when you popped up? Oh no! no I just like. Had to do it's, a little it's maneuver. Very oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh no! What happened? <laughs> you have a Hawaiian the Hawaiian so, yeah. shirt with the 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 show is. Yeah, the luau on the weekend. We had the Joseph before. I mean, wow. we went full on four shows in two days. We saw four shows in two days. Yeah. All Donny Asman. <laughs> <laughs> Hours. I think that was like two and a half hours. His show's an hour and a half. Friday, went to see him do a podcast at the Harris show. Everything was at Harris. Shout out. Everything's responsible. I wish we were responsible by Harris. Uh, but they do have great rooms at affordable prices. I will tell you that. They, they're, they, I guess, cheap. Can you use the word cheap? I think cheap's good. Affordable. That's more affordable. PR okay. friendly. <laughs> like they have some cheap ass rooms there. And they right, the do. Price is, the room is not cheap. The price is affordable. The price is affordable. Right. That's right. You're actually getting quality for that money. I mean, they have rooms as low as like $30, which is like crazy. Um, uh, it's great. Malibu likes to run back and forth between the rooms. We got a little cute suite. <laughs> Their suites are really affordable. If you want to get a nice suite, they're really affordable. I love Harrah's. Like, I'm not I'm not sponsored, so I can just say this. Like, I feel like Harrah's is kind of like, ugh, Harrah's. You know what I mean? But, like, honestly, we've stayed there the past, like, three or four times, and it's a vibe. It's safe. Right before we left, I saw on TikTok um, the girl that stayed at the Rio. Don't stay at the Rio because uh, they, I guess, like, they, the girl, the, there was a family and they would, like, break into their rooms while they were sleeping and they stole, like, $6,000 worth of stuff. Oh, my God. And then they asked Rio for, like, camera footage and, like, oh, we don't have cameras. And I, I think, I'm pretty sure, Rio said something along the lines, like, um, it had to be someone, you must have left your door unlocked or something. Basically, like, not taking any, like, accountability for it. But it happened to, like, two other people, too. And someone's like, yeah, this happened to me at Rio, too. So I was, like, so scared. So we got a door jammer and we got the stroller. So you put the door jammer. Well, I guess we just used a stroller. We didn't take the door jammer. I ordered the door jammer. It didn't come. But we took the stroller and put it underneath. So just a little life hack to mm-hmm. not – do you ever do that at the, ho- no, at the hotels? I've heard some Vegas horror stories in the hotels lately. I yeah. think it was maybe the MGM, maybe. Um, there was, like, a, a scorpion stung a guy in his, like – uh, nutsack, I think. <gasps> yeah. In the hotel room? Yeah. Oh my in God. his bed. And then there was like a bed bug infestation. Oh, and, bed yeah. bugs always are happening in Vegas. Wild. I Wild. Think, I think that was the MGM, I think. Or whichever one is the pyramid. I think. Oh, Luxor. Oh, maybe it's that. Well, one. Luxor, you hear so many horror stories. I heard one too on TikTok, on TikTok from Luxor. And a uh, similar story. She said she was there for like a convention and someone was like trying to get in the room but they had like a key or something so she thought it was like a worker a lot of times it allegedly they're like the employees they're saying because they're like they have like a key to try to get in and so she's yeah i don't know i've heard yeah i've heard some crazy stuff i was really scared when we went i was just like not scared but i was just i get a little paranoid so i was just like let me yeah. go ahead and then and then when we post when we got back then i was thinking about christine quinn's breakup break-in story she posted tahoe while she was still in california and then people came to break in because they thought she was in tahoe because she posted when oh. she got back so then i had a show we're also in la you know <laughs> it's like it is a crazy like, thing social media like just posting tell where we are we're everywhere all at once <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 i was like we're also in la um yeah, it is kind of weird as social media in general with that. Because you do want to post, but then it's like, yeah, there's just so – you hear so many weird stories. Yeah. But we doubled up on cameras. We tripled up. We have – even now when I just walk well, – you'd walk anywhere in the house and it just says, you're being recorded. So <laughs> we really tripled up. I was very – I don't know. I got really paranoid for some reason. I was like, let's just do everything. But we're not going anywhere for a while. So that was our last hoorah. My favorite thing is I um, 
someone said that, like, oh, I just saw Trisha Paytas in Vegas. And there was comments like, that can't be true. She never leaves the house. And I thought that was so fierce. I'm like, Where was it? So Where was that at? I just Twitter? read it. Oh, my God. That's so funny. I know. I do think about that. I think about that when they ask me, can you not put, I never say it. But I'm like, oh, my God. they're Because they do it right away. And I'm like, oh, that's so funny. That is true. Someone's like, oh, you didn't go to the Oscars, but you will go out for this. And I was like, heck, yeah. This was my Oscars. We got custom outfits made. We we won, won the award. award. Show them the award. There's, yeah. there's only, I mean, this is one of a kind. Well, this is one we'll of two, happen. technically. We're the right, second winner. The, the show itself and the competition will never happen again. Well, not in 2024 anyways. Congratulations. Winner of best costume. Donnie is Joseph. Sing along 2024. We won the award, you guys. We won the award. He called you up on stage. He called us up on stage, but Moses came <laughs> up with me, so we had no one to record it. You recorded the first time, which is great. I loved it, but I was just like, hopefully someone out there. I have video of it. Don't you worry. What? Yeah, I already have it saved. Oh <laughs> Jimmy, my God, roll the clip. Send me, really, roll it. Oh my God, you do? Yeah. Is it cute? Do I look, oh, I just, I look so fat. Donnie is so in shape. Like, he's just so... But then she gets so gorge. nervous, like you know, it you never talking, see. Like, she uh, was talking the fast. If you think she can talk fast, you haven't <laughs> seen her when she nervous talk fast. <sighs> and you're recording at me because you're like just like just as good. Um, and then we got, I got so lucky I got interviewed for my podcast in September, which was like wild and crazy. It was like the biggest, the biggest dream ever. And we were there, we were talking, because we were so nice. We talked for like literally like a couple hours before your show. And um, I was like, oh, we're trying to have another baby, but it's really hard. So Anya goes, I think you're gonna have another one really soon. Two weeks later, we found out we were pregnant. <laughs> Vegas, so <laughs> you know, maybe the middle name will be Donnie or something like that. The first name is Elvis, so maybe people do like Elvis Donnie. You're gonna name it Elvis? Yeah, it's a girl. Woo! Seriously. Yeah. Elvis. Well, then I'll take credit for it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't say no. That's... Yeah. 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 She was, on, she was just like speeding talk. Yeah. And it was crazy. And I was and so, I, I like, I literally black out. Donnie is the only person that I like, I don't know what it is, something about him that I just, I cannot speak. Like, it's so weird. Like, it's a miracle I did the podcast with him at all, but I don't know, something, especially about being called on stage and this, it's a weird thing. Like, I actually like, I actually like don't like attention. Like, I like attention, but I don't like it that way. I don't know what, it, I don't know how to explain it. And yes, we went full out with the costumes. First of all, truly, bottom of my heart, did not know there was a costume contest. Like I knew it was, a, I knew it was a dress up. It's yeah, a dress up. Yeah, that's true. We didn't, we didn't know until yeah. we got there, and a couple of ladies were like, "Are oh, you definitely going to win the contest?" So I was like, "What? There's a contest?" Shout out Donny Osmond. Fans. In fact, I will say, I think Donny Osmond of all people of our podcast brought like his mm -hmm. fans to me because there was a lot of like older women and like, "Oh, Trish, I need a picture with you." They're like, "I started watching you because Donny's interview," and I was like, "Oh my god!" So Donny brought the brought the fan base in, and they all knew everyone was very respectful, very nice. Everyone was really excited. There were some young ones like, "Oh, I thought you'd be there. I thought you'd be here." It was the best experience ever. Everyone dressed up. Everyone was just. Oh, it was just such a good time. It was a Joseph sing along, and I have to say, I, I feel like it was made for me the event. I really do because in our interview in our podcast at the end, we only sang Joseph songs together, and I feel like it kind of inspired it a little bit. Don Donny Osmond's also going to be playing Pharaoh this December in Scotland um, in an Andrew Lloyd Webber like revival of Joseph. I would love – God, because here's the thing. I'm probably going to be on season three of The Traitors. Okay, like let's just be real. <laughs> films in Scotland. Donny Osmond's – and that film's in the fall. Donny Osmond's going to be in Scotland in December playing Pharaoh. And I was just like, okay, Scotland is calling our name. And uh, if we do go to Scotland, we're going to have house sitters, okay, and security guards, just FYI. Because then I thought about that. I thought about what if I'm in Joseph and I have to promote it, right? And then I have to tell people. I'm going to be in Scotland for a month. And then people are like, oh, okay, well, here. I'm like, no, we got to get, like, security. Like, there's people that can, like, watch the house or something 24-7. Yeah, of course. I mean, they probably provide some old traders or faithfuls that <laughs> come <laughs> and stay here. Look, and here's the thing. I have nothing but a rainbow Birkin. But if you want to steal that, people are going to know. They're going to be like, here it is. Because truly, I got rid of so many designer bags. And we are minimalistic these days because we are trying to save. But anyways, besides the point, I would love to be considered for Joseph. Uh, not the role of Joseph, but I would like to be Mrs. Potiphar. She doesn't really sing. She's a sexy seductress that seduces Joseph. Donny Osmond's not playing Joseph. He's playing the Pharaoh in Act 2. Miss Potiphar comes in in Act 1. But I still would really love to play it. So Scotland, call me. Probably do it for free, honestly. Maybe you shouldn't say that, but I probably would. And um, God, what a dream come true. I just thought, oh, me and like Donny back there. Donny and I, I feel like are friends now, which also made me feel like I shouldn't have won the award because I was like, I feel like we're kind of, we're not the friends. Nepo baby. The a little nepo, nepo baby. <laughs> Look, we still have to wait in line uh, with everyone else. You know what I mean? But it's just, uh, 
you know, I don't know. No, but I, feel, I mean, like I said, everyone in the audience said you're going to win. So it's not because it's really because of the quality. Everyone and looked the back at us, too. Put, they're like, here's a win. They're like, they're a costume the contest winner. Everyone looks back. And I was like, hi, guys. Well, there was another winner before us who had a donkey and she was very good. She camel. came in. A, oh, a camel. A camel. Like an inflatable What's the difference? camel. There's Literally. No difference, but it was a camel. <laughs> There's no difference. They have, both have humps. <laughs> no. Donkeys don't have humps. Really? What do you are sit like on? Short. They're small. They're more like, like little horses. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and what's a camel? Just tall with a humps. dromedary. They're tall. What? With humps. <laughs> they can walk in the desert for days they, and days. With when no did food you become a zoologist? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that? A dromedary. What's that? I think <laughs> dromedaries have one hump and camels have two humps, actually. There's something like that. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Experts on camels, both of you guys over here. <laughs> There's a camel in Joseph, so I guess that's why she wrote it on Joseph. It was great. It was a great experience. We actually won an award. I can't believe it. I was like, I was shaking, crying. I can't believe you found the video. Uh -huh. Did someone post it on Reddit? Mm -hmm. And it's funny because you can hear the audience being like, what? They were like giggling, like, because you were talking so fast. Oh, well. <laughs> they were like, what did she say? All I heard was <laughs> silence. So I just keep talking because I'm like, I don't think this crowd knows or cares who I am. So I'm just going to talk as fast as I can so you can't hear the silence. Because <laughs> yeah, he, he was trying to tell the story that when, when she interviewed him, you know, we're trying to have baby number two and so basically it happened i mean immediately after that interview we know i'm the dad but <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but I, I was saying, like you know baby elvis is gonna come when we go to vegas like that's when it's gonna happen and that's what happened oh Elvis Moses literally tells him to at the meet and greet. He's literally like, I was like, yeah, like a few weeks after we met, I found out I was pregnant. Moses like, it happened in Vegas. I was like, you don't even tell the details. And I literally said that, like, you don't tell the but details. It's like a detail I would leave out if it was in Chicago, but Babe, Elvis it's still a detail. You don't even tell people. Vegas. You're like, it happened here. It happened Elvis in Vegas. I was like, oh. Oh, my God. I was stand by. Then I was like, yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. So anyways, Donnie's always gracious. I think he, I think he, I think he's cool with me. I think we're cool. Um, we got for to meet sure. him after the show again. I just, and I still ask him for a picture each time, even though I feel like, okay, <laughs> like, they're like, okay, come say hi after the show. So we said hi. I still had to ask for a picture. I was still like, oh, can I take a picture? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just really, and it's like so annoying because you want to be friends with someone so you don't want to have to be that person to take a picture. But it's just like, I have such a collection of all my Donnie photos that I just want like more. You know, I want to like all over no, like I a think, shrine in I my think house. He will feel like something is wrong if you didn't ask for one, you know? Mm -hmm. Because we had such a good conversation. We talked for like 30 minutes after the show. And I was like, was, well, I went with my mom the second night. And um, we just like talked for like a, like 30 minutes like after his full performance. And I was like, oh, man, I don't want to be that person to ask for a picture. But I was like, well, let me ask. <laughs> Shout out Oscar for face tuning me a little bit because the lighting wasn't great. No, the lighting was very homophobic. Yeah. I have to give it to you. It was like, oh, my God. God. It was, you said hate crime. You're like, it it's was a hate, a hate crime. crime. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, okay. it was not your fault. It literally was just the lighting. I swear, you guys know, I'll tell you the truth. Like, I really never face tune. I really never care. I'm like, whatever. I look like that. I look like that. But I was just like, I looked a little rough. Now, Donnie looked perfect. My mom actually looked good too. I don't know. I have like different shades of tan going. I just looked crazy, but you made me look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for that. I literally it was Saturday morning. I was like, can you face tune this? You did it right away too. Yeah, I, like, I love it. Mom. I love editing photos as you can tell by the thumbnails because they're always a little crazy. Well, this <laughs> thumbnails always slay. That's why I was like, oh, can you do my face like that? Like it always looks so good. No, the thumbnails, the thumbnails look great. I think that's why our Patreon is so successful too. So, um, but yeah, it was great. I actually like Donny Osmond is my favorite human being in the whole world. He always has been and now solidifies it even more and he's so nice and so unproblematic and he's such a good singer and so talented and I like to think we're kind of friends we don't chat ever are. but <laughs> you definitely are i mean you spent hours talking for the podcast and he always His manager is like so you. nice like literally the nicest person ever um it so, was, i mean they gave you the full vip experience it was so nice i do feel so very nice. special i don't give vip i don't get treat, vip treatment anywhere and that's fine with it i'm fine with it but um they they always give it to me and actually the roots chris at harris gave us vip wow. roots chris have you been not in a long time. Where, which one have you? Do you go to one around here, like Encino? There, Is there one in Encino? I think there used to be one in Northridge. I want to say when I was oh. younger. Okay. Yeah. There's one in like Marina del Rey. I used to go to, and they were always like so rude. Like literally, like if I was with a guy friend that had a hat on, they would be like, "You can't come in." Like it wasn't even like take your hat off. It was like can't come in if you don't have your shirt tucked in, whatever. So I was like really nervous because like we weren't like super dressed up, and I was like, "Oh no, they're gonna." whatever um but the hostess recognized me and we didn't even have a reservation and she got us in and the waiter as well our server i don't know what the politically correct term is I don't know either i guess i waiter? don't know i don't know what's worse know. or better i don't know our, our friend johnny our friend <laughs> is that his name johnny yeah it was johnny johnny shout out johnny oh yeah oh yeah i was gonna find his 
girlfriend and she's like a cosplayer or something. Anyways, um, we had to eat in 20 minutes and he got our steak and garlic potatoes out and, and crab cakes all out in 20 minutes. And it was so <laughs> great. We made the show. Shout out Johnny. And what was her name? God, I knew her name to the hostess. Lily? Uh, Lily? I didn't know. She was so great too. And then I came back the next night because I was like, hey, can we get a reservation for tomorrow night because that food was so good. And then she she had her makeup done that day and she's like, oh, can we take another photo with it? I was like, absolutely. So <laughs> we did get VIP treatment at the Harris, Ruth's Chris and Donnie. That I love so much. We watched him do a live podcast with Phil Rosenthal. Do you know him? Mm-mm. The women love him. He's uh, feed Phil. You never seen somebody feed Phil on Netflix? No. <laughs> My no. mom loves it. It's supposedly it's the number one show. They said it was the number one show in food on Netflix or something. He. Uh, what else is he known for? He did he create Everybody Loves Raymond? No. What? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what he said. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Like Raymond is based. On I mean, his I life. can see that. He kind of um, looks like the character. Yeah, he said on both of their lives. He said oh he saw him on God. David Letterman. Yeah. Um, my mom loves Phil. Like, she loves – it's called Somebody Feed Phil. I think it has, like, seven seasons. They said he was the number one show on Netflix. Um, and he did a podcast, their 100th episode. And – oh, yeah. I'll talk about that in a minute. And – um. And they had Donny Osmond on stage. It was weird. They had this full thing, but I don't think they recorded. We couldn't record anything about that, but we sat there for two hours and listened to the podcast. So it was very interesting. Uh, shout out Phil Rosenthal if you want to come on the podcast. <laughs> He's great. I love him. My mom loves him a lot. But uh, he sat next to Moses at the show on <laughs> Thursday night. And I pulled, oh my God, I pulled a move that I hate so much, <laughs> that I hate so much. Uh, my dad did it to one of Moses's <laughs> celebrity friends at our wedding. And it's just like the most cringe thing. And I did it. And I was like... I just have to show my mom because he was sitting literally right next to the booth of Moses. So I literally did the thing where I'm like pretending to take a photo of us and I like get him in the picture too, the celeb, uh, to Phil. And so it's like Moses and Phil in the same picture without him knowing. And I was like, whatever. I just did. I took the picture and I was, well, I had to show my mom. I mean, mom. your mom is number one fan of Phil. Uh, she had to see, you know, you we wanted to get her excited for the next day. Yeah, because my mom came with me to the podcast. Feel, uh, feel recorded podcast. I hate them. when people do that though, when they like secretly <laughs> take a picture of you. That's literally the most like rudest, most annoying honestly, thing. I mean, I think it's not as bad for guys. You know what I mean? Like we don't wear makeup, we don't have hair, we look the same all the time. It's not like you're getting a bad photo because that's usually what people don't like. Is like, at least get a good photo of me. You know. Because my dad did a secret one to your celebrity friend, <laughs> but then he got one with him, right? So I was like, why did you Eventually, Why did you do a yeah. secret one if it was whatever? Well, it's backup in case you're not going to get the picture. You want to <laughs> have a backup <laughs> picture, yeah. evidence that you've seen them. I was jealous. I never even got a picture with that. I'm like, I want a picture with him. Anyways, um, and then we went to the aquarium. This this was the real highlight. Do you go, do you go to Vegas? Are you a Vegas person? I haven't been to Vegas in a while, but... <laughs> what um, with Joey? No, <laughs> I feel like all the stories go back to Joey. No, the last time I was in Vegas. Long story short, I went to Vegas to go to a reptile convention because I really wanted an axolotl, and they don't sell them in California, so I went to oh. Vegas to get one. We can smuggle it in. <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> confirm or deny. I mean, okay, just, okay, okay, I love it. just drove back home. <laughs> Why? I was like, wait, will you leave it there? What was it? What is it? Like a... An axolotl. It's, um, it's just like a little, like... It's like, you know, the pink with the gills, like the, oh, little, yeah. the fuzzy yeah. gills. It's a so fish? Cute. It's like a, it's a uh, lizard Yeah, fish. like amphibian kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, and I really, really wanted one. and You didn't um, get it? Again, I can't oh, confirm or deny. Okay, <laughs> They show. I wonder if they have like immigration for pets. <laughs> like they show up at but, your house. Like, but you know, on the way, you said there was a checkpoint, like a, a agricultural checkpoint. On the yeah, way. but nobody was there. We were slow. Everyone was slowing down, and no one checked. I was like, okay. They just didn't suspect us, but yeah. I didn't see anyone stopping. Okay, so when was that? How long ago? Um, it was when the Robert Pattinson Batman came out. That's how, how I can remember because I saw that in Vegas. So maybe March two years ago. March two, two years, years ago. ago. Okay, yeah. so you don't drink or gamble. No. You don't drink at all, period? Um, Occasionally, like, a drink. But drinking's so expensive. I'm, like, very cheap when it's, like, comes to that stuff. Yeah. It's so expensive. And I feel like it's not even that much alcohol. Oh, I did see the RuPaul Drag Race show in Vegas, and I had a drink there. We saw um, the sign for it. I think it was at Planet Hollywood or something like that. It's one, I think it's the Flamingo, I want to oh, say. Oh, Flamingo, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, yes. Um, but the drink was like $20. But so Drinks are it was just like a one crazy. and done. Yeah. When we go out to lunch, it's like 50 bucks. If we go out with people who like drink or whatever like that, it literally is like $300. I was like, Jesus, like no wonder people don't go out to eat. I don't drink either. I think Vegas, you can have so much fun not drinking and not going out. We yeah. don't go to clubs. I've never gone to clubs, even when I was 20. I always just go to shows or like entertainment or dinner. I love mm-hmm. it. I think it's fun. It's close too. So it's like close to us. I mean, I got exhausted. That's why I'm like dressed casual today because I was so exhausted. I found something pink. I was like, give me something pink. 
I mean, I don't love this, but this was whatever. This was the only pink thing they had. But I got exhausted. I was tired. I didn't take any naps, but we went full force because we did bring uh, Malibu with us. So it was like we had to do – we did Kids Vegas in the in the morning and then Old People Vegas. I won't even say adults <laughs> because it's like we were with the old crowd. We were they with the that. 5 o'clock – 4.30 dinner really is where we went. And then we'd go see um, Donnie, which, you know, he has a mix of people. But, yeah, we went to the Shark Reef Aquarium at, at Mandalay, Mandalay Bay. Bay. Yeah. Oh, did you know? This, yeah, I love that. Wait. Oh, so highlight. you did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. This There's was the us. highlight. Yeah. There's a fake shark. I mean, we, we went to a few places that Malibu didn't, she just was not about it. But Rainforest the minute, Cafe. <laughs> she was The minute terrifying. we walked into the this place, I mean, she was lit oh. like the fish, the aquariums, and she was just like running around. It's like big fish. And she was so cute. Well, here, I'll it. drop them in the album. They're so, they're, we had literally, I have probably like, 600 videos and pictures from this trip. We had so many for some reason, but she loved that one. You've been to that one specifically? Yeah. yeah it's so cute. We walked in. I have to share this in the album. Oh, my God. I don't want to forget. Um, we walked in. It was at Mandalay Bay, like you said. And, like, we're – the aquarium's kind of, like, like kind of, like, you have to go far back or whatever. So we're walking through. And we're, like, walking by ourselves or whatever. And there was literally, like, 100 Home Depot employees applauding for us coming through. <laughs> Just like, yay! Woo! <laughs> and nobody else was around us. So I was like, what is happening? And it was so it's bizarre. What, it's kind of like what I imagine when Malibu will Coast go to England. the UK for the first time. <laughs> That's how she'll be welcome. Oh my god! Yeah, she, like, she thought it was for her. She was. She was like, living for it. Well, there was there was a few fans on the left you can see, and they're very much like, huh. So I was like, oh my god, this is so weird. I don't even know what was happening. Do they have a Home Depot store there permanently? I feel like they do because the shark, the aquarium picture I took well, right underneath it was like Home Depot second floor. Oh. So I wonder if there's like a permanent Home Depot. Obviously, we found out later it was like a convention there, but I think there's like a permanent Home Depot store in the Mandalay Bay. I don't know. Hmm. That's wild. Well, you want a Home, Home Depot, Depot convention? convention? Yeah, it was. It was. That's what we found out. Convention. It was definitely there. a convention, but I didn't know there was a store. I would get some merch. <laughs> It was wild. Vegas was a lot. I was. It was great. It was so much fun. I was, and I didn't take any. I was. It was fun. It was just tiring. Mm -hmm. I was so tired. A lot of the places we ate weren't good. There was either like really good food, like Ruth's Chris, or like really like Sugar Meth, Factory. I have to yeah. say, food wasn't great. Mm, yeah, it's a cute concept. It used to be everything. Remember, like people always yeah. were taking pictures with like the lollipops. But Tana and Jake Paul had their wedding reception there. Really? Yeah. I wonder if it's the same Sugar Factory, like. Because they think, moved, like, Rainforest Cafe moved from MGM to, like, this, like, strip oh. mall. It's, like, the Miracle Mile shops. Was it by the mall, the sugar factory? Was it by a mall? It was, like, yeah, it was by a mall on, like, the second floor. But yes, it was kind of little. That that one. Really? Yeah. Maybe they got sponsored. Hopefully they got sponsored. I think so. I would imagine. You were there. Yeah, I interviewed them. Did you go to the reception or whatever? Was that strict factory? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's where you we went. We went to the wedding and then we did the, I did the first interview as a married, married couple. You did? Yeah, at the sugar factory. I need to see this. Wild. Okay, we have to do a reaction we day. We have to. There's so I... many. And I have such good tea because after last week, all these memories unlocked of like little moments. And I'll tell you in the Patreon because they're actually like good tea of like. Of the Jake and Tana? Of a lot of them. I have a Liza story. I have a Vlog Squad story. Oh, no, yeah. you write them down? Yeah, I have them in my okay. notes for today. We'll save them for the Patreon. They're Ooh, I love. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people really like the Kristen Vlog Squad episode. It was great. Like, you know, you never know because I didn't know Kristen that well back then. Like, I saw her all the time and we like barely talked to each other. Not in any way, just, you know, whatever. We just didn't talk. Um, and yeah, I was like very surprised at who she is now. And yeah. it, was, it was a good interview. I'm glad people liked it. Um, yeah, she's killing it. She's crushing it in life. I was I was surprised how open she was talking about like Scott and stuff like that. Like I felt like she wouldn't want to talk. You know, like, yeah, because she's so moved on. So from... moved on. And you don't want. You never want to be the person that's like, oh man, they still talk about this person. Whatever. But I just like I feel like she never has before, and I felt like that was like so interesting that she opened up about it, and people I think felt for her her story of how they broke up with the spatula. She's like, I got a new tattoo. He's like, we got to break up. I'm like ah, and then she got it removed. I was like, yeah, that would that would suck. That mm -hmm. whole thing. Um, but anyways, I I like when people are real and open. I feel like I talked about so many of my breakups for so long so i was like okay but i feel like she never does so i was very happy i feel like to have that little exclusive mm -hmm. oscar we were talking about not scott but her second boyfriend that she described in the interview as a monster and the title was like her monster ex-boyfriend i know oscar i was scott. like is this too aggressive because i'm like she did say it but i didn't want it to be like an immediate i feel like the first thing people would think would be Scotty, scott but yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean so. hindsight it probably is good we could probably change it too i just never want people to be like i know uh, oh what do they do with the title because if you Times we have people be like, uh, not that title. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love your titles. Even sometimes in hot topics, I'm like, oh, okay, all right, I guess we're going for it. I know. Well, for us, it's kind of fun because I feel like we can kind of like 
it's like satirical almost sometimes because they're so yeah. dramatic. But and then we'll yeah. talk about it and it's like we love them. You yeah, know it's what like I mean? not that serious. <laughs> yeah. No, but I kind of I live for the titles. <laughs> I remember the second one we did, the second episode, and it was like about oh, yeah, Colleen. I was like, oh, I was like, not going to even talk about her at all. I was like, me, I'm like, never talking about her again, ever. My favorite, favorite story is, uh, I think our first episode, it, because of the SAG track, you were, I was like, oh, we can talk about Barbie, because Barbie was just coming out, and you were like, we can't talk about Barbie, because I'm SAG, and the SAG strike, like, I heard you're not supposed to talk about movies, and then the next episode, you're talking about all these shows that you love, and I was like, oh my god. That was- me someone told me like sugar, a couple weeks. oh think, sugar yeah. yeah 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 she was like because we were doing a barbie thing like right before and then she's like oh, we have to we can't mention barbie movie and i was like okay you're right Zach is expensive to rejoin okay i need to keep my good standing with them especially if i'm doing tv shows and movies and everything i was yeah i was, was funny. i was scared at the beginning of this talk i was like we can't mention this kid. I still, sometimes i still do like i said i want to be a better person you guys make me want to be better so i try i try to be cool with everybody any guests that want anything edited out i'm like yeah, absolutely even though i'm like oh no but that's the good tea of it all um anything else about vegas let me think so so yeah but that was i mean malibu had a blast like she really she was like walking she did not want to even be That's held so for a cute. minute. She was just like walking the hotels, the strips. She was just loving. She's walking down the strip, which was <laughs> she just loved maybe it. should I? I'm like, can you pick her up because like <laughs> we were holding her hand. She had to stand in the car for literally four and a half hours, and she did such a good job. She like, we never stopped. She was like so good, and um, then so she wanted to like walk around, and she holds both of our hands on the strip. But there's like you know there's weirdos on the strip. Yeah. Like and I'm not just talking about like unhoused people. That's fine, but I'm talking about like the. Like the people, what was the woman dressed as a police officer? She's like, hold on, your crime is you're too cute or something. I don't know. It's so weird. And then she like just kept coming towards us like to Moses. Oh, can you give me a t-? I'm like, we weren't even interacting with her or whatever. And just, you know, a bunch of the people with little cards and stuff like that. And I was just like, and Malibu's here just like yeah. walking the strip at well, one that, and a half years old. That's when we first got there. But then after that, it was all, you know, in nice, nice areas. Well, that was or, the Miracle Mile. Don't go to know, Miracle Mile and park. To the- <laughs> oh my God, that parking situation. We walked for literally probably like two miles. I was dying. I was dead. There was... If I was, <laughs> if I passed by you in Vegas, because some people would be like, Trisha, if I, like, I tried to stop at the beginning, and then towards the end when we had to walk back from Rainforest Cafe <laughs> through the Miracle Mile to get to Valet, which is literally another, like, two miles, and I'm, like, d- so tired, I just, I, like, just kept going forward. Although, you know what? That one guy that got me attention, because, you know, I, I, I do get tired, trust me. Like, even now, I literally lay in bed most of my days, because I'm getting close to the end of my pregnancy, and I get really, really tired. It's been really hard. So, Vegas, I was getting tired walking through the casinos, and then if you stop, and I do, if, I, if it's like, okay, come with me, whatever, like that, obviously, but especially Donnie inspired me, because Donnie really says, he's like, you know, he'll like get up out of, like, if you're, he's, I think our hair, uh, Ruth Chris waiter told us, like, if he's having dinner, like, he literally like, gets up out of his seat and takes pictures oh. with people, and I'm just like that's crazy I didn't even like can you, can you wait till I'm done like yeah I have a hot steak or whatever and then you know whatever you know, then I'll take a picture all day long but he said so Donnie's like yeah I, he never says no to any picture nothing and I was like I gotta be more like Donnie that's why but anyways so I don't really say no but sometimes I just like keep going because I'm just so focused I'm just like I need to sit down I need to sit down um, and Harris was one everyone's like Trish and I say hi like yeah they like, love the podcast like woo yes and then um, but one guy he, you know everyone they want the picture but I'm trying to get through the Harris thing I'm also with Malibu if I'm with Malibu I always again paranoia they say if you like look away for a split second, you know what I mean. So I'm always like, because I think you were with. Oh no, yeah, you were getting there. the valet. That's where it was. Where I was just no. with Malibu by myself. The last day no, you but went the out guy, there. The guy that got your attention. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go back to that. But oh, okay. I think the last day mm-hmm. when you went to go get valet, like you never really leave us alone. And for the reason because I'm like for that reason people just snatch people. So my mom was there, but still, either way, I don't turn her back because Malibu's there, and I just whatever. So yeah, the, then the guy that here is. He's like, everyone's like, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? And I'm like, oh, like, you know, I'm walking, but like, come this way, whatever. And then the guy comes up, a boy, young kid, uh, was like, he shouts, I can't wait to see you on Trader Season 3. I was like, oh, absolutely. You <laughs> can have you a go. picture. And then he, but, uh, oh, but this is the thing I don't like either. This is what I'm saying. Because um, I don't know if he was like an actual fan or just like recognized me. Because it was like, it was, it gave me no, if he knew gamer about boy vibes. Trader, huh? But if he knew about the show and you. That's true. Then... He wasn't like a cute little like gay boy. It was like kind of giving me gamer MatPat vibes or something. You know what I mean? I don't even know what MatPat looks like. But that's who I envisioned him looking like. <laughs> and he, they, what they do is they take a picture, but they're like recording. Oh, you know, yeah. like even the the photo, you can do a video, yeah. and so because I didn't realize it, I'm just like, hey, in the picture, and he's like, oh, I auditioned to be on Big Brother, I'm gonna, what? and then he's like talking, and I'm like realizing it's recorded. I'm like, oh, so I felt very. Was it Rami Malik in the moment? Who hated it when someone did that? I think it was Rami Malik that was like not about a some. He's like a picture, not a video, you know, and it's like. 
it is annoying. Not that it matters. I wasn't saying anything bad. It's just like, I'm not ready. I look stupid. I'm just like, eh, you know, like in a picture. I don't know. Anyways, always appreciative. I try to say hi. I mean, I usually do. Most, especially Joseph, yeah. I was saying hi to everybody. But no, you always, you always nice. You always say hi. You always take pictures. We were just running to the show because we were late. You know, we didn't want to be late for the show. But when people say there's two stages, they say hi and then you say hi, hi back, and then either you keep walking or you give them that second yeah. to ask for the picture. But so then, you always say you always say hi. You always nice. Oh, but the worst but then is like running. oh, let me Facetime this person. I'm like no, uh, absolutely yeah. not. I gotta there's go. People like oh, I know somebody that's even a bigger fan. Yeah, Can I Facetime I'm like, them no. right now. No, I mean, people are really wild. That's crazy. I feel bad asking Donnie for a picture at a meet and greet. Much less, like, could you imagine? I'm like, could you actually call this person? I get it. I mean, it's nice. And honestly, it's nice because, like, I, like I, the people at Ruth's Chris, like, because I take pictures. People came up to us at the table. Of course, I'll take pictures if you ask. I'm never going to say no for eating. I'm not that person for real. And what did they give us? Free Pellegrino or something? They're like, that was nice of you. We're going to give you free Pellegrino. I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> They're like, sorry that they bothered you. I was like, it doesn't, I, they didn't bother me. It was fine. Um, you know, I guess you have to take your chance, but they're like, oh, we comped to the Pellegrino in the house for that. I was like, all right, thank you. <laughs> Which is a $250 steak, but, you know, we'll take it. Anyways, grateful, grateful, grateful. It was great. It was fun. Um, Do you ever yeah. gamble in Vegas or no? Um, I like to. Again, we literally didn't have time. I even wanted to do like Wheel of Fortune. My favorite is Wheel of Fortune. That's oh. all I do is like the slots. <laughs> and we used to do it like before Malibu. We used to uh, do Wheel of Fortune. But I only spent like $500 and then I'm like done. How about you? No, never. But did you Oh, it's a segue? Yeah. Love. And it's like the perfect segue. Okay. Um, Bruno Mars allegedly owes <gasps> $50, 50 million, million to the MGM for gambling. <laughs> that is wild. That is crazy. And then I saw like they're like he has to perform for free there or something or to pay back his debt. Yeah, well, he already has a residency at the Park MGM. So they use that to pay off the debt? I, I think so. Because they're like, but then they said, oh, you know, because he has to pay it off, he only is making $1.5 a night or something like that. And I was like, that's a lot of money. That's still a lot of money, yeah. Also, how do you go $50 million? What? That, I can't even fathom gambling that much. How? Well, money. It's an addiction. Like, if, you, if but, you're an addict, you can easily, because they also take you to the high stakes, you know, tables oh that's true there's some that's like a hundred dollars a bet so, no half oh. a million they can oh. <laughs> do in one night half a million a few million dollars in one night they can and uh, the problem is once you lose money then you'll try to make it back and you just you dig a bigger hole for yourself I've wait seen it what oh my god do you think he has 50 million like can you just pay it if he you think he has the cash probably right oh 100 percent from oh. the album and then even from um the his deal with MGM for the residency, he makes ninety million oh my. from the deal. So he's still making a lot. And then he just oh. opened a cocktail lounge um, called the Pinky Ring um, at the Bellagio, which is another oh like MGM God. property. So uh, he's still making money, but that's just still like such a. So what was the headline then? Like, why wouldn't it just be paid off? I don't know. I think the just because it's such a huge amount, you know. Yeah. And I'm sure. It's still going on because he's talked about like how he loves poker and he loves games. Oh, I didn't know. Um, yeah, he was on carpool karaoke randomly, and then he talked <laughs> about how much he's obsessed with poker. So, and I remember when you were with, when Dr. Drew was on, he talked about like people's gambling addictions. Oh, and stuff really? Too. Yeah. What did he say? <laughs> well, he was just um, talking about like the different like addicts, like sex addicts, uh, gambling addicts, or like oh. debt addicts, and how people like get a rush from being people can get a rush from being in debt you know like they like that oh from being in debt from being in debt and gambling you think that's what Bruno Mars is like Maybe. I love that I racked up there's 50 million there's something right because he obviously can afford it but Inter I don't know. wow that's a weird kink you gotta like get excited <laughs> yeah. to be in debt I think Dr. Drew told you it was like that I feeling of like being like cornered and like being up against the wall almost with like uh needing oh. to like pay things off I don't know that's I don't a love that. Run. I mean, I definitely, I've definitely had debt in my life, and it's definitely not my rush. Yeah, it makes me anxious. It yeah, makes me feel like a prisoner or oh something. Oh my god, gambling. Well, gambling to me is. I guess I do gamble on the Mega Millions and Powerball, but that's like twenty bucks here and it's there. Different, yeah. And yeah, that's when I feel different. I know I'm gonna win because my mom's like, "Oh, I'm surprised you don't want to like." But I'm like, I don't feel. I'm like, I just know I'm not good at the slot machines. I know I'm, I'm definitely not whatever those other games are with dice Poker. and stuff. Yeah. Are oh. You? Oh. Poker? No, I'm not great at it. I would love to do what Jantana did, like a poker tournament. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Uh, she looked so good, too, when she was oh, sitting yeah. there with, like, her elbow on. She was just like, oh, she yeah. looked so hot. And she did good. Yeah, she looked so hot. She did yeah. good. You remember when Kim Kardashian did it and she wore, like, the, the shield? Glasses, and yeah. It's like, the, that would totally be me so you could see your hand or whatever. <laughs> I, my dad was always a really good poker player, and I feel like I'm, like, 
Well, poker is kind of like luck, though. Obviously, you have to know how to play the game, but it is kind of luck. Like, if you get shitty cards, you get shitty cards. Poker's not bad, but it's like more like, what is it, like roulette and stuff? Like, like that one I'm never going to win, where you just like spin the wheel or something. Yeah. I'm not much of like a risk taker, I think. So that's why gambling never has ever appealed to me. Yeah. Like, at all. And also just sit there. Like, it takes time. Like, I'm like, Ugh, I yeah, get that's bored. True. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, like lottery, I think I'm going to win, but like, I don't like the scratchers. I don't like gambling. I just like pick my numbers, but, um, yeah, fifty million as well. Bruno Mars making so much money. Damn, that's crazy. Is he married? Kids? Nothing. I don't think so. I don't think so. Definitely mm. not kids. I mean, he might be seeing someone, but I don't. Mm. Is he single? Has he ever? Um, he never talks about his sexuality, does he? I don't think so. I like that. But his songs are about women. I think I'm pretty sure because he like. Well, uses... so is George Michael's songs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his 13 year relationship with girlfriend Jessica Caban. Jessica Cabin. Caban. So I guess he's <laughs> okay. Damn, he's in it. I yeah. always wonder then, like, do they get married when you're worth ninety million dollars? Like, do you get married? And, I guess like... not. If he's been with her for thirteen years, I don't, I don't think. Because what is like Michael Jordan had to pay his wife like a billion dollars oh. or something? Like, I think it's crazy when you marry someone. But I guess if you marry them before your money, like LeBron, I think his wife is his high school sweetheart mm-hmm. or something. So then you know it's for real. Yeah, but like, like Chris the... Jenner marrying Corey, I don't see it happening because it's like she's probably worth so much. But then it's like, and then she has kids and you know stuff like that. So I think when you get married. And if you die, then the spouse gets it. And then it's like, I don't know, I guess Corey's in the group. I don't know. I don't know how connected he well, is. I'm sure but. she has a wheel. Like, she decides where it's going to go. And <sighs> yeah, how. and then when you have so much money, it's like, do you even care? Like, at that point, just like, just give it to everybody. Or like, so the much. prenup must be crazy. I mean, look at like Ariana's prenup when it even has like the uh, the privacy clause or whatever where you can't like talk about each other. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? Don Gomez's sister? No. Oh, she I didn't like, see that. oh, yeah. She released, um, I don't know where it was Twitter. I don't know where it was. Some statement where she's like, uh, she specifically said, if Dalton could speak, he would tell you this or something like that. What, what did she say? Gosh, I'm not a good if reporter. If he had his voice. If no, had... she said if he could speak. I wrote that in quote, but right. I just don't know what she was talking about. Basically saying like, oh, two sides of the story. Basically like, there's two sides of the story. Like if Dalton could speak, you know, he would say that, whatever, that it's not. I don't know. Because, you know, her narrative and Bowen Yang's narrative has been basically like she's not in the wrong. Like everyone has it completely wrong. Like, you know, they don't know the full story. Oh, so her um, Dalton's sister, Tori, says Dalton didn't cheat on Ariana. It's unfair to jump to conclusions based solely on assumptions and the content of someone's album. Ariana's album gives her perspective, not necessarily Dalton's. If he could speak, his side of the story might shed light on things differently. There it um, is. If he could speak. Yeah. So there's a no talking. Yeah, which was part of the prenup. Uh, yeah. That's not fair. How come? I guess she doesn't she's really. Not, she's the, in, yeah, she's yeah. singing. She's singing about whoever. <laughs> yeah. And she said she kind of like protect herself too. She's like, it's part based on life and part based on like fiction and, and stuff like that. she did yeah. release that statement saying like um, if – like, please don't bully anyone all because of who you think it might be about. Like, she tried to shut down anyone. Because the fans were going in. Like, they were leaving yeah. bad reviews on his, like, real estate oh my uh, gosh. profiles. <laughs> so I, he, she tried to, like, put a statement and, like, settle things down a little bit. So I can appreciate that. But I just feel like everyone, like, talking about it, like, Bo and Yang. And so I was just like, ugh. Like, just a lot. You know what I yeah. mean? Because he's like, y'all don't know the narrative. It's like, I would trust... Dalton Gomez's sister or Ethan Slater's wife over you, Bo, and Yang. You know what I, I mean? I think he's being a good friend, so I can appreciate that. Because that's, you know, I think that's, in that situation, he's friends with both of them. It makes sense for that for him to be Wait, like, who? Who's he friends with? Ariana I who? Think, and probably Ethan, they're co-stars, right? He's in oh, Wicked too. Oh. So I think he's friends with them. He probably saw, like, a different side of things. So I think, you know, stand up for your friends. I can't blame him for that. But... Yeah, I don't know. Again, kind of like what we said last week. I'm like, we're just going to enjoy the music. There's stuff that like, like, I don't know. I love Ariana and I think this is, it's probably more complicated than anyone thinks. But I feel like the Ariana's fans can like bully people who say like, oh, but what about this? Yeah. They, like, people like bully him. But it's like, okay, it's not their fault. They're just listening to the other woman. You know what I mean? Right. But that's what I was saying. I feel like we talked about it last episode too. And that's why the Bone Yang thing rubbed me the wrong way. Because it's kind of like, just let it go. Like, Ariana, she just like, go past it now. Okay. Like, everyone, okay, it's wrong. Whatever. You said your piece. But it's like, to have it come out, it almost just feels like 
it, it is kind of just like making everyone angry. It's like, you know, like Boney and being like, you all don't know the narratives. I'm like, like, yes, he's being a good friend. But it'd be like you, right? Like I'm in this cheating scandal and you're like, y'all don't even know. Yeah, they probably don't know, but you're just like adding flame to the fire. Like my sister, she, bless her heart, she used to be like that too. Whenever I'd get into like scandals or anything, she'd be like, no, this is the truth. This is, and then it'd just make it worse because it's like people who are going to be angry are going to be angry. So I'm like, don't say anything. You know, I'd always say that. So it's just like, Ugh, and I love Bowen Yang after his Sydney Sweeney thing, but then I was like, ugh, when he said that, I was just like, oh, you're just like making it worse and like just making more people angry because people are gonna believe what they want. Obviously, it's more complicated. Obviously, we don't know everything, but we <laughs> yeah. see what we see. Unless you're gonna share details, you know, like then just don't say anything. You know, it's just like, oh, we get it. I don't know. That's why I was the only thing. And Ariana too is just like, oh, it's just like, I mean, whatever. She's an artist. People, it's so funny. Like we can't win because, and it doesn't matter because I really don't care either way. But it's like the Ariana stands hate when we talk anything bad. But then people don't like when we like support Ariana either. Like she's a horrible. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I really um, don't care either way. Yeah, I truly. I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle. Like I again, like I love her and I think, and I've seen her be like a, such a kind person. Yeah, she is genuinely very, very sweet and very has like, like such a good heart. I just think sometimes when it comes to relationships, maybe the decision making is a little off you know mm. but at the end of the day she's it's, that doesn't make her a terrible person you know that's what and I was, she's so talented yeah well that i mean that you can't take away from her that's what i was finding out um in glam today i didn't even know kim kardashian was dating someone new obj oh adele beckham jr yeah i was like i don't know who this is but let me know the tea because like oh man the like kardashians they just don't make it you know easy for us to like them or whatever and i was like oh what happened and they're like oh she's dating obj and i was like okay i don't know who that is and they're like a oh, football player i was like okay and then i guess he was with the woman for like 10 years and had just had a baby with her or, some, or had babies with her right i don't know maybe allegedly i don't know um and Kim just, like, basically took him, scooped him up, and he, like, left that. I think her name's Lolo. I looked her up today. She was, like, pretty. She was with him for a long time, and he kind of just, like, dumped her oh, by the wayside to be with Kim. I didn't know any of that. I didn't either. I was like, oh, man, damn. Like, they really out here taking men. Allegedly, I don't know. Actually, <laughs> I never want to talk about the Kardashians because I, like, what? I love skims, so I'm always like, give me a <laughs> skims campaign, you know? But, um... Yeah, but you know, you, you just can't. It's like Ariana Grande too. It's like you really. It's just so hard to compete. You shouldn't have to, obviously, if you're the girl. But it's like these men see these women who are like the most beautiful women in the world. Plus, they're so rich. Plus, they're influential. Plus, like sp- supposedly, o- o- what's it, Odell Beckham Jr. Uh-huh. I feel weird calling him OBJ. I was like, it sounds like Obi Wan <laughs> Kenobi or something. Um, like OBJ. I guess he doesn't. He hasn't gotten picked up by a team. So basically, they saw what like they did for Tristan, which got him like this like job on ESPN as like an announcer or something mm. like that. So I feel like they also see the opportunity. They have like Chris Jenner and the thing to like, just like Scott, like any of those people, they get their like brand deals off of this. So, so not only do you have to compete with really gorgeous women, they're so rich billionaires and then they have opportunities yeah. and it's like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's tough. It is interesting to see now guys kind of falling to this because you used to hear about women right like oh they upgrade for the more successful guy Mm -hmm. and now guys are upgrading to the more successful girls and i think that's interesting because it's like oh they're kind of they're kind of the same if not worse because i feel like i feel like women are pretty loyal for the most part i mean there's those ones that want to like upgrade but i feel like men they really just see a bigger better opportunity and go with it yeah that's why like again i feel like it's all been focused on like oh like ariana oh kim but you can't take anyone away who doesn't want to be taken, That's you know? True. So the smoke needs to be blown back towards no, the No, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. I think it's bad, like, um, like energy. What is the, how do they say it? It's like, um, you lose them how you get them or some sort of thing. Oh, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, d- definitely that because, like, it's, I think it's the, like, well, I guess Leanne really? Rimes is a different example, but who was it? Oh, no. Who was married to Blake Shelton before Gwen Stefani? Miranda Lambert. Yeah. So I think, allegedly, I heard maybe it's true that she she was having an affair with Blake when he was married to his first wife. Oh really? And then he cheated on Miranda allegedly with Gwen and that's oh, the whole wow. thing. So um and then eventually they just get old and stop cheating because it's like okay you can't Run probably get it up. Steam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, well I can't do much more. So you get them at the the last leg and maybe you'll be good. But um yeah, I mean and I think that is true. And my experience is probably true too. So and some people don't mind cheating. Some people don't mind it, you know, whatever. Like, obviously, Chloe's very forgiving. Some people are forgiving. Some people look at cheating, like, very casual, where they can, like, look past. Like, I think Wendy, I think she said that she could have looked past Kevin's cheating, but once he had the baby, she was like, okay, I got to divorce you. Yeah. So, um, I think that's usually the kicker, the baby, but not for Chloe, because she was like, yeah, you know. And um, that's not bad either. I, whatever, you know, teach your own. If you can look past, I mean, that's a really strong person to look past that. I was like, damn, okay. Mm-hmm. You have to be in love, love, love. 
I think I don't think I could look past the baby. I think I could look past maybe cheating. I say that and people are like, oh my gosh. But <laughs> only because I pretty much know he wouldn't. But like, I'm like maybe. But then I like Kevin, like Wendy's guy, like he's like living in a house with her and yeah. down the street. And I don't know. That's kind of. I go back and forth with it but yeah i feel like it's definitely there's layers to it and it's like it can change on a whim you know mm-hmm. what i mean it's going to be different for everyone it, there's so many factors that it depends on you know like the state of the relationship and stuff that's and why i always tell people go with the normies like people definitely always want to date celebrities i'm like to date someone that's not a celebrity because there's so much temptation and celebrities are kind of weird anyways like they're very like narcissistic and they look for the next opportunity and it's just like i don't know i just it's not meh. I don't know. Anyways, it's kind of – it's all sad. But like you said, definitely it's the men's fault for sure. But you, they never do get the blame, do they? It's always no, the that's women. No, very unfortunate. Yeah, especially yeah. with like the Ariana situation. I feel like it went so much on mm. her. But it's like I never lost sight of SpongeBob, so don't worry <laughs> there. You know? Yeah. No, and it's true. This this whole other level, it's like a new wave of, gu- of guys with like young children. Um, I don't know like his background, but Barry Keoghan has a very young baby too. And it's just like that's crazy. Like you have – and it's not to say you have to stay together for the baby, but it's like God, at least the first few years I think you should probably be there because what did you – you saw something recently. It's like postpartum. It takes them like two years to like recover and feel like themselves again. So I feel like for at least two years, stay with that person for at least support even if you're not like romantically there. I don't know. Unless, unless of course it's like abusive or something, but – um, men do get away with especially babies too they really do get to just be like okay bye take care of the baby mm-hmm. for the most part I don't know all sad really but hopefully everyone's happy and maybe you meet the love of your life maybe I don't know like look at Leanne Rhymes and Brandon Glavenville's ex-husband Eddie, Eddie C Cibrian, Cibrian. Cibrian. yeah like they seem to be happy they seem to be lasting 15 years or whatever yeah they've been together a while huh yeah so you never know, I maybe, guess. Maybe someone else's husband is meant to be your husband. <laughs> I don't know. Very, uh, like, love is blind, Sarah Ann, <laughs> oh, Jeremy. I didn't watch. We were so out of it. I haven't gone on TikTok. We haven't watched any. We didn't watch RuPaul. We didn't watch the reunion. Wow. Yeah, we really missed everything. And I heard the reunion was so good. We've been trying not to watch the spoilers, but. It was okay. The okay. love is blind. You're not into it. I get people who are like, oh, my God, that reunion was the best thing ever. Uh, I mean, I really liked it. And there was a lot of good tea in there. Yeah. But. I think they were spotlighting a lot of the older couples in the Love is Blind reunion, I think, to kind of show that, like, look, it works because they did such a bad job this season. With, like- horrible. <laughs> just horrible. Everyone just looking for opportunity. I just saw a clip of them t- going in on Trevor. and Yes. Um, but, like, I saw someone on TikTok say this, and it's a good point. They were basically going on and on because they're like, oh, you're only here for, like, to advance your career. I think, like, most people go on TV to, like, get those brand deals. Like, maybe they're hoping to find love and that would be the extra bonus. But, like, they see, like, there's two girls from one season that have a podcast together. It's, like, it's a season from Chicago. It's, like, the one who dated Shane, the guy with, like, the really, like, crazy eyes. Do you remember her? (laughs) Natalie. And then um, the one who was with – oh, God. Who was that guy that was so obnoxious? Do you remember? Same season from Chicago. Shake. Uh, Shake. Shake, yeah. Yeah, he was on House of Villains. He was? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You get those opportunities, whatever. And his, anyways, his girlfriend or the girl he was partnered with, she's in it with Natalie. They have this podcast now and they probably get a lot of brand deals. They said they make more, Natalie was saying she makes more money being an influencer than she did. And she had like a medical field job. So I think they really do go on for this. So I like, you can't really chastise one person for trying to get the opportunity to go on TV. That's why you go on there. You're trying to get famous. Like you're not really, I mean, hopefully you find love, but. Yeah. Only a few actually can make it both either to find love or to become famous after that and they do both going. yeah i follow um Only a few, brennan and uh alexa. they're having a baby what's her name alexa Al- alexa yeah i think that was her name alexis or something like that they're the ones they're having a baby and they do brand deals all the time they're always working with netflix and it's like i think people do but that for that show, reason i think because both shows that we watch this probably was their worst season. Their worst. Awful. Because the other show, uh, Lo- uh, Married, Married at, first, at first, sight. first Sight, too. Like, they did so bad at matching people <laughs> oh that God. there was not one couple that stayed married <laughs> at the end. Not one. But I think the shows also want the drama. Yeah. So the show wants the drama. The people that come want to be on TV. So you get the perfect chaos and, and you just lose the plot. They said point. Jess was a plant. That kind of makes sense because mm-hmm. she was already had like that Harry Jowsey link. She's already kind of a girl. Now she's on the perfect match. Yeah. So they gave her a good edit. Yeah. They made her look really good. So girl's girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think they just with this season, like I feel like you can't go in like 
if you're going to go in for fame, you have to do a good job at like disguising it. But if you go in literally in a relationship and you have the paper trail saying that you degaff and like, I'm coming back to you, that's where you really lose that's the That's crazy. Yeah. Especially that's... everyone loved him. I know. He really messed it up there. Mm -hmm. That was bad. I think he was supposed to be on the perfect match, right? Is I, he not? Because I thought they already filmed it. I thought he was. I don't know. Because they at the end of the reunion, they only said Jessica. They didn't say Trevor, oh, too. What if they cut him? Because sometimes on Married at First Sight, they cut like a whole... Or was it Love is Blind? I think Love is Blind, they cut a whole couple last season. Oh, really? And they went. They did the honeymoon. They did the wedding dress shopping. So you can kind of see her in the background. But they ended up cutting the whole couple. I don't know if he was abusive. I don't know what happened. Something was weird. And um, they made it to the altar and they never showed wow. them once. They had to do that on Drag Race, too. When, like, twice. When, like, Ooh. queens had, like... Um, uh, allegations against them they like completely removed them from the show wow yeah. oh my gosh but i think last season of uk like <laughs> like you could maybe see like a leg or an arm in the background but like she was completely gone like completely edited how is that out. even possible like at the end when they're all like dancing at the lip sync and stuff like it was that. like a lot of cutaways and like in the background you know when they're on the main stage like the two like in the bottom whatever and then everyone's lined up in the back you could kind of see like an arm or like it would peek out from someone's wow. outfit but you could never see her face or anything it's crazy what they can do in editing that is crazy that is crazy yeah there was a couple 90 day fiancés that they just stopped i think he's in prison now that one guy remember i talked to him <laughs> oh my god that's crazy that just that just reminded me when i had dish with trisha in quarantine i was like obsessed with 90 day fiance and i was talking to like Around the time when I met Moses, but we were like not on good terms. And I remember I was talking, or maybe it was before. Was it before I met you or during? <laughs> we we were just friends at the time, like really the beginning. Because well, we were almost, like dating, you almost went yeah, out right. to you almost went out to me. Yeah, the, oh God, I don't even know his name, but he was on 90 Day Fiance. I knew nothing about it. Um, but he was he was on the first half of the season, and then they started cutting him because he had. Um, I guess they're not allegations. I guess he was convicted of like, uh, like slamming his girlfriend's head or kidnapping oh her, like God. in a cement, like something crazy. Um, and he's in prison. Now I'm laughing because it's like makes me like weird to think about it. It's not funny, but um, yeah, he's like in prison for like life now or something. It's crazy. And I was just here talking to him on like Instagram lives, just chatting and just not thinking anything of it. And I was like, damn, they oh, really. Yeah, this need was to the Instagram live phase when that was a <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. When that yeah. was a thing for a minute. We were going TikTok live. I was going live with everyone. Soldier Boy. Yeah. I was very nice. Oh. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I was oh my God. very into that. And but you know what's weird is like that happened. He had those charges against him before the show, so I was just like, they, they didn't do a good background no, check. That, that was the problem. They did bad research, and then I think after that they kind of started doing a tighter and better background checks. Oh my God, these people. So yeah, it's pretty pretty wild. But yeah, he had a, the he had he had the G. allegations. His name had a G in it. Jeffrey know. with a G Jeffrey. maybe. Jeffrey. So 90 Day Fiance stand for a while. I was like, I was really like, I don't know. I was just desperate. I think I was just like talking to anybody that would talk to me. Because I think we talked, but then you weren't talking to me. We had a rough start. <laughs> we would talk and then you wouldn't talk to me. So then I'd try and find someone else. And I was just really lonely during quarantine. So, you know, it all worked out in it's the crazy. end. It's crazy. It's been March. So four years. Since, yeah. Oh my God, all four that. years. March so we 14th were, was ours. So Pi, pi Day, the most celebrated day in the world is the hard the day we met that's and that's the day we went to joseph sing along mm -hmm. that was great it was about that a great a anniversary. anniversary having donnie saying yeah it's in four years you and your boyfriend too right four years yeah we started talking march official in june though so we are wow. we celebrate june mostly yeah, we were technically official August 1st because I had my su summer of OF. You know, that was my wild summer. I was going crazy. But we celebrate every day. That the first time we did, the first time we oh. met. The oh, first yeah. Time so we March 13th, I was like, let's bring up those DMs. And I love it. Those were, that was cute. And then March 14th. And then August 1st, we officially started dating. And then December 18th, we got engaged. December 11th, we got married. And then we had the birthday. We had so many, yeah. so many then celebrations. Then there's Valentine. There's just, yeah. It's always something. We, it's always every, something. Every month. Yeah. <laughs> But now we're better than ever. It's like, it's weird. Like you think of it. I'm like, oh, we had such like a rough start. And now I'm just like, it's just perfect now. Truly. I don't know. And I'd be the first to say, I'd be like, you know, I'm no relationship <laughs> perfect, but ours is. Didn't start that way though. It never did. You know what I'm saying? So I try to reiterate that so people don't think whatever. But anyways, it worked out. I don't know what changed. I guess we changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we changed together for the better. Uh, what was that? We were talking about 90 Day Fiance. Oh, Love is Blind. Mm. That's the tea. They've been doing, all of them been on the Nick Vile files. I know. <laughs> Which is, I don't know how he gets everyone. I guess he must be doing well. He's a plant. He's the new Bobby Altoff. Oh, that, 
There's two <laughs> paths. To, oh. uh, okay. So Alex Cooper is shopping Caller Daddy and talking to companies who might be interested in capturing her young female audience. And her and her team are seeking a nine-figure deal, according nine to people figure. familiar with the conversations. So that's like a hundred million and up. That's wild. Um, love it. She should get it. I think everyone should be a little. I guess it's not to Lulu because she made sixty million on her first one. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, she had RuPaul. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how? Also, Ru, even out of drag, usually he looks pretty spiffy. But why was he, why did he have like a hoodie? Like, I don't know. Like his little incognito kind of. Yeah, like you're on a podcast. Was he trying to match her I think, energy? Like uh, maybe her. like she's in sweats all the time. So he's like, I'm going to be this. I think he doesn't dress up unless it's like a really big deal or he's getting paid a lot of money. I'm pretty sure. But I mean, you said he has to call her daddy. So you must have thought that was a big deal because he doesn't do podcasts. I don't know. Because even like when he does the Architectural Digest, he's dressed really nice. And even if he went no makeup, which I like, it's very Pamela Anderson to be like, okay, we're not doing any makeup and I like his freckles and stuff like that. It's like, <laughs> just like the black hoodie. Yeah, it's just like, this looks like you're like trying to hide or something like that. It was very odd. I love Rue, but I only want him on if he's going to be in full drag. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> I love RuPaul. Um, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, you know. Well, and then I guess Joe Rogan's went for two hundred and fifty million. So wow. So she yeah, could. So it's equivalent to what Howard Stern used to be, but it's good. She opens the door, you know, for she leads the way and yeah. raises the bar. For... I'll, I'll follow it all day long. Give me sixty million. <laughs> now you get the sixty. Amazon. I'll take the sixty million, and then we'll go. <laughs> That's crazy. So she got paid sixty million. So now she's asking. She's looking for a hundred million. Like. Realistically, from that sixty, she maybe maybe got fifteen 30. or twenty, maybe. Because like other people and got other people got some of that money, right? Agents, lawyers, pay taxes, and then you left with not that much. It's amazing because it is such a casual thing, and she literally is like in sweatpants and sweatshirts. I was like, damn, she really got it figured out. You know what I mean? Like, but <laughs> it's not even like a big production. Like, it's very just like in this like little room. And I like her. I like her. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess. You know what it is? It's like it, it. people would look at that price tag and be like, oh, okay, is she really worth that much? It's like you just got to find someone who will pay it and then you'll True. be worth that much. You know yeah. what I mean? So if someone will. Someone, I'm sure someone will. Oh, God, I would. let me just put it out there right now. I will take $60 million for this show. I think Amazon. I think Amazon's the place for us. Yeah. You know? We'll go work right next to Zach Zang. He's in the Amazon building. And then, yeah, like Ariana would do Zach and then she'll come <laughs> yeah, next door. Right. Come over to us. <laughs> worth 60 million i think we're worth i think we're worth nine figures actually we'll take Scratch that, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you see that clip of ariana by the way of zach saying and then zach is asking her like this really like deep philosophical question ariana goes what the f- are you talking about oh, no <laughs> what so was funny. the question do you know just, like you know how zach gets like sometimes it could be something like not that yes. serious oh yeah like she has a song called supernatural and he goes so do you think like love is like a supernatural and like it's going on and yeah, on yeah, she yeah, goes yeah. what the are you talking about and it's so funny that's funny because he can't yeah and he does he's like a deep thinker that's yeah. so funny so she's, she's probably just writing this little ditty and like whatever right like, and she's like cute. no it's not that serious <laughs> yeah. i love it i love that he tries to go deep though know, it's, it's you know <laughs> and she just shut it down she's like no yeah she cracks me up i'm sorry oh, i love the girl okay now you love her okay i'm like i've I'm always just, loved I'm her different. but i'm I can be critical. I mean, I can be critical of any like pop girl. Like I can be critical of Taylor and the Jet and Maddie Healy. I was like, okay, it's a little, a little right, much. So right. That doesn't take away my love, you know. But some people would see it that way. I think I see it that way sometimes. I'm like, when someone's critical of me, I'm just like, mm, fake it's fan. Like the dark side of standing, which I feel like you missed out on this whole thing. But did you see this whole Stan Twitter debacle that went viral this past week? No. Oh, my God. Uh, a Dua Lipa Stan called the cops on a Nicki Minaj Stan. Why? Oh, my God. It is a story. Because of her it wax figure? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I just kept seeing that trending. I was like, okay. I saw Dua Lipa. I was like, oh, what is this? Um. So. <laughs> so the Stan's called Police on Each Other. It's kind of crazy. So there's a Dua Lipa Stan. Uh, their name is Kenzo. And then there is this Nicki Minaj Stan um, named jasmine or jazzy and um i guess the barbs had there's mixed reporting some people said the barbs leaked kenzo's address who he's 17 so it's a very messy oh um she either leaked the address or he posted a video in front of his house saying like because like, he he was going back and forth like because he loves dua lipa and like the, he was saying that dua lipa is better than Nicki minaj or whatever and they were coming after him. And then he posted a video in front of his house saying, okay, like, if you guys want, like, this is, here I am. This is where I live. And oh, then, gosh. Uh, a barb 
literally flew from California <gasps> to Arizona and showed up at his house. And um, oh my god, yeah, Jack yeah. Phelps Sniper Wolf 2.0. Literally, wow. yeah, it's very that. And um, they what? What did he do? That would terrify me. He just me. showed up at the house. It was pitch black. It was dark. And then um, Kenzo, the Dua Lipa Sian, and his dad came out. And then they were flashing this like bright spotlight in his face. And it was crazy. It was on this video. What? The dad comes out and the barb Jasmine goes, oh, hi, Ryan. Because he knows the whole, he knows everything about the family and the house. Oh, my. It was wild. And the cops were called. And then. Was it two boys? It's, it's a boy Sam, boy Sam. Yeah. Um. It was Are they gay? Messy. Um, I'm assuming definitely Jasmine because now he's posting videos. They're posting videos with like a another guy making out, like a really hot like OF guy. Okay, it's like really capitalizing <laughs> on the moment because okay. it was absolutely bonkers like the videos Whoa. were wild and then the barb is sitting the cops are called and the barb is filming like the cops like you want to say hello like it was oh my god messy 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 messy, messy, yeah. messy so what happened at the end did anyone get arrested just um they ended up letting the barb go like the barb <laughs> was like detained by the police and then um no charges were pressed or anything and no one did anything weird like pull anything or no no violence like, violence at least but it was wild i think because it's just like the dark side of stan twitter you know what i mean when things get a little too real when they show up in real life yeah oh my god that's like my biggest that's why the guy stopped trolling too like a long time ago because it's just like people get so and i rightfully so with certain things but like you know people really do get so upset they're like gonna come find you and stuff like that it's like Mm -hmm. crazy oh my gosh stay safe i didn't know dua lipa and barbs had beef i didn't know either that's why i've retired from stan twitter because now it's too serious like before it was a little like Ha ha he 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 he, but now it's like I'll show up at your house. I'm like this. I can't. I'm too old. Were for you commenting on Stan Twitter? Back in my like Twitter brand for a while was being a Swifty, and then I would really like weigh in and mm. like stand up. You know, anytime there was a little bit of controversy or anything, like I was always standing by Taylor. And anytime she had a feud with anyone, I would be like Team Taylor. Blah blah blah. Right. But it's just exhausting. It really is exhausting. Yeah. It's like you're never going to convince anyone on Twitter of anything that they don't no. want. You know? Twitter's so there's just wild. no point. Twitter's wild. And I used to hate Twitter. I said, I'm going to delete it, whatever. And I kept it. Um, but now I feel like I have a stand Twitter that really goes hard for me. <laughs> I should just get hate and hate and hate. And just like people just like harassing me constantly on Twitter. And I was like, why do I even have this? But now I get people like fighting back. And I feel like we were talking about this the other day. And I was like, I wonder why. Like it feels good. It feels good to have like people just like sticking up for me and being, no, this was this. this this was a long time ago. This is a different date. You're trying. You're taking this out of context. Like people like stand up for me. So then it feels good when you have like a stand Twitter on your side. You know True. what I mean? I was yeah. like, oh, we kind of have a little bit of a stand Twitter. <laughs> and they defend. They'll defend. They'll, they see something wrong. You're, oh, the dates are wrong. This is not right. This is something whatever. They're correct, and I like love it. And I actually do appreciate those people. Like there's some hardcore dedicated people who will like go back and forth with people all day long in defense of me. And I always think that's like so nice. I was like. Wow, that's amazing. Like, that's what you're doing with your time. And, like, in the best way possible. I was just like, that's – because I had so many people hate on me, like, every single tweet, like, right away. I'm like, wow, they really spend their whole day hating on me. But now there's people who spend their whole day defending me. That's really, really <laughs> nice. And I actually never really had that. So we'll thank take you. That. Yeah. We'll take you, Stan Twitter. I love that. But don't um, show up at anyone's house, I guess, and do anything illegal. Oh, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird. Yeah, for sure. But I don't think I have beef with anybody like that. There was a fandom recently that really came for me. Oh, the Drag Race fandom. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, recently I used to feel like I was getting they canceled. Kind of come for everyone. And there's also inter, <sighs> inter-race arguing too with like, I don't know. That's why it's just all the standums get a little bit too messy. That's what I wondered too. I was just like, um, oh, right. Like the fans, like they fight each other. The fans of the yeah, same people fight like each other. Yeah, and the Reddit stands hate the Twitter stands. It's like, oh. it's it all gets messy. I think... And the Facebook fans probably hit everyone, so I don't know. Well, Facebook fans are just like, <laughs> they're not on Twitter. They don't know how to log on there. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, we're on the laptop. We're on a desktop. <laughs> Who's on Facebook? I don't know. I don't know either. Actually, anymore. I'm on Facebook. Check me out. I think I <laughs> I think I do post on Facebook. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Just random posts. Sometimes I open my Facebook and I'm like, whoa. What I work with a company that does help me like um, re, like re, like, what do you call it? Re, what is that word? Recycle? It's not recycle content, but like I mean, we upcycle. Upload. Mm-hmm. We upload. I mean, you know, we're trying to get the higher demographic of 65 and up. <laughs> I have some good interaction on Facebook. Yeah, I do actually. Okay. Shout out Facebook. They have a repurpose. I think that's what it's called. Repurposing oh, yeah, content. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, scary. Scary times. Yeah, it is wild. That's why, I don't know, the Stan War stuff I kind of, I've retired from. 
sorry, I'm mean, Taylor can handle it, you know, and the other Swifties got it. I do get the psychology of it, I guess, especially when you're younger and like don't have a lot of like people around because you get a sense of community. I think yeah. when you stand the same person, you know, mm -hmm. and you can relate, but sometimes it just goes a little too far. Right. Yeah. It's kind of scary, especially like you said, when you show up to someone's house and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's never that serious. Like everyone can kind of relax, especially if you're young, like a kid, like. You know, yeah. and you just sell it back. And a lot of people think it's super anonymous, but it's not. It, like, literally is not anonymous at all. You, you can be like, on your alt, trace. but if someone wants to, they can find you, yeah. you know? No, that is so scary. So. Well, I like my Stan Twitter, so. <laughs> Stan, Trish, Stan Twitter. Keep, keep defending. I love it. Seriously, it means so much, like, because people are so smart, and they – they because it's like you get tired to defend yourself. I'm like, I can't respond to every single person. I just, like, let it go, and you just let stuff be said about you, and you're just like, whatever. It's what yeah. said about me, but um, the ones who got me, got me. Well, another – President going viral on Twitter was James Charles, and oh, for man. once it was something positive, which is I know refreshing. As Dustin Daly said, he's like, "Well, a broken clock is twice, right, twice, right? twice, twice a day, a day." Yeah, it's so true. It is so true. He did have a good take, um, but again, you know, I guess this is the James Charles hater in me or whatever. But it's like it's kind of like me saying anything. Sometimes it's like the wrong messenger. You know what I mean? Because it's him. People are just going to, like, not take it seriously, but have good words for it. You know what I mean? But I'm saying this as a fellow wrong messenger. Like, I'm just not one to, like, fight people's battles or stand up because it's like, ooh, let's look at who's talking. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's true because he basically just went off about the TikTok ban and TikTok ban and dragged Congress and talked about all the other issues that are more important. Um, and all very factual. All very factual, Because it, yeah. it was crazy. Because he said something. He did say something kind of very smart. I was just – he's very like, okay, this just went – I don't even know the stages. He knew the stages. Like, this was a bill yesterday, but now it's already passed through Congress in 24 hours, yet we can't do, like, gun control or – Yeah, all these other abortion maybe, issues. Maybe he's just afraid that Snapchat will be next. Why is that where he makes his money? That's where he allegedly talks to a little, a little boy. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> well, First they came for TikTok, then. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, if TikTok got banned, like a lot of people would be as well. I really don't make money off TikTok, but it's such a good platform. I have like 9 million followers on there. I'm like, huh, I don't want to lose these people. It's good mm -hmm. interaction, good engagement. <laughs> uh, but it's not happening, right? Like, TikTok's not being banned. I mean, it's. It's going to the Senate, and Joe Biden said he would sign it if it comes across his desk. But I think there's a long battle until it actually becomes sign a thing. it, meaning what? Like make it a law or whatever. Ban, ban yeah, it? to ban the TikTok. Because <gasps> but... we've been through that once before, and I yeah. think every time elections are coming, they're trying to curb, <laughs> scare people, curb well, the different social networks. That's not gonna get the vote for Joe Biden if he's saying he's gonna ban it. Mm -hmm. Someone's gonna say, "I'm gonna protect TikTok at all costs." Yeah. And Who's the other person running? Any? Do Donald we know? Trump. The, those two are running? Yes. <laughs> I just like don't understand why there's, like, there's no like, age oh. limit on presidents. I know. It's so wild. crazy. It is very wild. Like, that's actually crazy. Because, like, as we all can see, like, Joe Biden, you know, he's just not, like, top shape either. It's just, like, I think, yeah, and did I Trump think... get arrested? Like, <laughs> yeah. I can you be president if you got arrested. That's, that's crazy. I need Hassan to break it all down. But because I was, like, <laughs> reading articles and stuff, I'm like, oh, my God, like, politics are crazy. Because I wanted to know about the TikTok ban. Because I'm like, how can you just do that? But because it doesn't. It's all very yeah. odd. And why? Because um, – China's stealing our information. They have our information. Everyone has our information. And, too, a lot of people are saying, like, why specifically TikTok but not, like, you know, Facebook and Meta got busted for selling information, too, and they're still paying off the fine for selling off everyone's right. information. Yeah. So why not an overall broad, you know, privacy bill because they, versus mm – -hmm. Because they do work for the government. Mm -hmm. Who works so. for the government? Facebook? Everything in Silicon Valley – Okay, works well, for the so yeah Facebook, Facebook Instagram because and yeah. then now now the only two platforms that don't work for the government are Twitter and TikTok so those oh. two so I think the closer we get to the election those two will get the most scrutiny well they can't buy out Elon I would love for him to come on the podcast <laughs> we gotta ask him about it what's he gonna do if the government tries to shut down Twitter can they. I don't think that's even... He, he was asked that. I think he was kind of asked that. He was like, let them do that. Then people will see who's really trying to, you know, temper with free speech. Yeah, you can't do that. That's like in the Constitution. <laughs> Period. Right? <laughs> Can anyone change the Constitution? I don't think so. Right? They need to have like a super majority, like a huge majority of people. To, oh, my God. To make any significant changes. I guess maybe we need James Charles to break down the no, law since he knows it so no, well. No, <laughs> well, he's been no. breaking the law. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, it's like wrong Alleged, person, yeah. allegedly. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, you never hear about like gun problems in like Scotland. You never hear like school shootings or anything like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think we should move to Scotland. Actually, I heard the safest place and cleanest place to live is Singapore. It's just a lot of money. Oh, really? My dad said that. He's like, it's super, yeah. super safe. It's super clean. Like, there's not even yeah. like gum on the floor. Like, wow. he said it was they really have, expensive, but. Yeah, they have like insane strict laws. Like, because if you do throw gum, I think you'll get like 50 lashes or wow. something. Oh. <laughs> Wait, actually? <laughs> Something like that. Oh my like god! Something crazy like that. Like, okay. you, I mean, you don't want to break the law there, obviously. Crazy! Wow. Um. Well, moving to Singapore <laughs> or Scotland. I really have my heart set on Scotland. I love that. Yeah. Because traders, we didn't talk about that, but I'll just talk about it briefly because it's like I know we've been talking so much about me this episode, but um, <laughs> right. traders is recruiting it is me. Just uh, yeah. right. It is just <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> I know, but you said this podcast when they just talk so much about themselves. Like, okay, we have a YouTube channel for this. You don't need to talk about it. I just want to talk. But your personal okay. life experience. You're right. We went. So again, about me. Uh, Peacock sent me. I think I sent this text to you. I was so excited. I was so excited about it. I was just like, oh, they sent me a PR package, and I was like, I've been getting so many PR packages. Shout out Teletubby. Shout out Beauty Creations. Shout out a lo- you got a Looney, Lonnie, whatever it was, but you didn't like those gummies. <laughs> Mr. Beast um, and Traders. Peacock. Peacock wanted to. Anyways, um, but they've been inviting me to events and stuff. I was like, okay, booge. Um, they like we have a package we want to send you, and I thought, okay. I think, well, who was it? What was that company that sent me those sweatsuits? What's that company? <laughs> Tubi? Oh, Tubi. Tubi. We talked about them one time, yeah. and they're like, we have something. And I remember and you the do wear them. <laughs> I, I do wear them. I, and I, I never post about them, though. I guess I should. But they're like, they heard us talk about Tubi once in the podcast. Like, we want to send you something. And I was like, okay. I do wear the sweatsuits. Um, but I remember I said, oh, it's probably just a t-shirt. And like, oh, no, it's much more than a t-shirt. And then I was like, sweatshirt. So I was like, okay. Um, so I thought Peacock would be the same way. I was like, oh, they'll probably send me a sweatshirt, which is great, because I can't find a trader sweatshirt online. They sent me a sweatshirt. And then they sent me like a sleep mask that says traders, you know, like the ones you wear on the plane. And I was like, oh, this is cool or whatever. Then they sent me like an instant camera. When you do like reality shows, like Celebrity Big Brother and stuff like that, they usually take away your phones, like just so you can't like Google anything. So I was like, hmm, interesting. They're giving me a camera because I can't take pictures with my phone. Then they gave me a passport holder that said Peacock on it. And I was like, this is so odd. Like, why are they sending me a passport holder? I did just get my passport renewed. In fact, we all did. So just saying. Um, (laughs) Because the whole family's going to have to come. Because I'll probably have a three-month-old baby by then, which I looked up, by the way. Kate from season one, she had a three-month-old in season one. And then when she came back for season two, the three-month-old was like one one year and three. But she said she wanted to leave the first season because she had a three-month-old at home. So I was like, oh, in theory, I could do it. Anyways, so um, they sent me the passport thing. And then the last thing they sent me was like, like a travel bag, like a carry-on size bag. And I was like, are they trying to recruit me? Like, wouldn't you think that? Because that doesn't seem like a regular PR package. It's like getting you ready for a big trip. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> totally. Am I like delusional? Because I was like, wait. Because people are like, oh, I love how Moses supports her delusions. I'm like, but it's not that no, big of a delusion. Not a, a passport holder. It's not yeah. like it's merch they sell somewhere. It was this weird. This literally gets ready for the trip. You're and it was going. a bougie passport. It was like the brand was some brand. It wasn't like, it had NBC on it or Peacock on it. But it was like in a box that was like some leather brand that's like fancy. And I was like. Right? Doesn't it seem like I mean I've never talked to anyone from casting, so I'm not trying to say this, but I'm just like, <laughs> that seems odd. It's like very specific. Right. Yeah. It's like getting you ready for a trip. Or yeah. they're just like pretending that you could come on the train. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It seems so weird. I've never got a PR package. Like the Teletubbies exists and it's like t-shirts and teletubbies. Okay, whatever. But it's like I don't know. Yeah, it feels like what you would, like the tart girls. I feel like yeah. before a trip, they make <gasps> stuff like that, don't you think? It is, because they did. They got the, you remember they got like purple Nikes oh, and like yeah, sweatsuits. Yeah. It's very that. Yeah. Stuff for the trip. No, I was even more excited than you because I thought as you open it, you'll find an envelope. And it will say, you know, Well, the envelope, like they did send me an envelope. It's like, you're a faithful or thank you for being a faithful or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. But I, yeah, there was I no think invite. This was but step one of being recruited. I said if I get an interview, I'll nail it. We'll get on it for sure. But you thought it was May they were filming. I heard May, but I feel like that's way too soon to not have heard anything. You know, I googled it, and like the past scenes has started end of September and October. Yeah, which would be so great. Then we could do the traders, and I could stay there for Joseph. Mm. Just be a little Scottish girl. What's <laughs> oh, a Scottish <laughs> accent? Is that Scottish? <laughs> no, it's British. What's Scottish? Do, do Scottish. Um, Who's uh, Scottish? Haggis. A day. Haggis. What? That's only what I know. Is that, that Harry Scottish. Pa- Potter? Hog- it's a sheep stomach? Sheep Haggis? Haggis. Haggis. Um, who's Scottish? I'm trying to like imitate someone. Know. Is there anyone we know that's Scottish? Ed Sheeran? Is he Scottish? Scottish. No. What is a Scottish accent? Braveheart? Alan Cumming. 
<laughs> oh, oh yeah. People were doing impressions of him too. Was it on the reunion we were watching where people were doing their best? Oh right, yeah. <laughs> what was the What was the thing they had everyone say? Are you a traitor? Or oh, are you a faithful? Oh, that's good. That's what he said. I was like, like, okay, yeah. let me, okay, let me <laughs> hear you do it. Shoot. Um, uh, are you a, Are you a, Oh, oh, yeah, Brave. Yeah, okay. Remember that movie Brave? She was Scottish, I think. Okay. The Pixar. I think she's Irish. No, I think she was Scottish. Okay, okay, we'll go if with you it. You had the chance to choose your fates, would you? That was good. <laughs> that was kind of good, that right? Good. That sounded Scottish. That, that was pretty good. good. Moses, you want to try a Scottish accent? Um, is Shrek Scottish? <laughs> oh. I think so. <laughs> Is he, I think he is. Is he, is he like green or Irish? Yeah, Scottish. Donkey. Like, that's what it is, right? <laughs> it just comes out so naturally. <laughs> you do it. Let me hear you. You're good at accents. <laughs> no, I'm not. Just try. I'll, I'll have a Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> I love Moses' accents are just his accent. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I'm glad you tried, at least. I hate when you never try. That's good. <laughs> well, singing when I don't have the words. That's tough. That was good. That I was love good. it. I love Guinness. Okay. <laughs> that was a good one. Did you watch Irish Wish? No, not yet. I heard it was, the script was wild though. And like AI generated or something, but. <laughs> yeah, Moses said that. Okay, so I fell asleep. Well, only I fell asleep because it was, we just got back from Vegas and I fell asleep. Moses finished watching it. He did not like the ending. No, the movie, because the main thing about the movie is like, because the one we watched before that with. Um, Lindsay Lohan. Sid, Sid, Sydney. Sydney Sweeney. Oh, and yeah. So at least that, it's kind of like parallel movies, but at least that one was a comedy. It was funny. They went there. You know, they pushed it towards the comedy. They made you laugh. Mm -hmm. This movie felt like you'll get there some point. Maybe. Maybe it will be funny. It maybe it'll be emotional. Maybe it'll be dramatic, but it's nothing at all. It's like it never went anywhere to be emotional enough or. I just the Hallmark Deep movie enough, feel or... of it all. Like I just love how it's it was Irish themed and it was just like pretty and you know yeah, when they had the wind no, blowing. That's, that's all great. It's like a movie to just pass your time with and be on your phone. But there was not at some point. Why not get emotional? Why not be funny? Why not push it further? They tried. You know? I think they tried. The guy. There's a guy from you season four. Did you watch you? Mm -hmm. Did you watch season four? Yes. It was like the guy that didn't exist. The oh, writer. The teacher or something. The writer. Oh, the writer. E was he a writer? I don't know. Yeah, he was, he's like a yeah. He was a writer. He was the one he was the always one, talking to. Yeah, but he wasn't he there. Thought that he was the spoiler alert for you. Season, that's like <laughs> season, years old. Literally two years ago. He thought that he was the killer, but it wasn't. Him. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. It was that person. He was in the movie. He was like, okay. I'm like that guy looks so familiar. I had to look it up right away. It was bothering me. I didn't like the other guy, but I like that guy. That guy was cool. I don't know his name, but he's and good. Lindsay. Maybe Lindsay's like the new Vanessa Hudgens, like, friend, because she had like the princess <laughs> switch. Like, she had like four of them, Vanessa Hudgens, and they were all the, like Christmas movies. So maybe Lindsay wait, will be the really? new. Wait, really? You don't remember the princess? No. I think, princess switch, I think it was like called. Like as an adult? Yeah. Like oh every God, Christmas. No. There was like five of them, I think. Every oh, Christmas she had like the, the, it was like the same movie basically. And they weren't like good, but they were like cozy. Oh, and, cozy, like, yeah. And I I feel like maybe Vanessa's done with them. So now maybe Lindsay will be like the new Netflix She's girl. so so good at it. She's so good at it because I did love the holiday one she did with the cord over street chord over street whatever his name is. That one was so good. I did an ASMR on it. Oh yeah, the, she did that for Christmas. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like really good. That's the one where she's like an influencer or something, or she was dating an influencer. It was so good. Um, and this one was cute too. It was cozy, and I love it. I love that they do it for the holidays. I liked it. It was good. I fell asleep only because I was like so tired. But I love Lindsay Lohan. I love that she's making her resurgence. We're in the low, low. What's it called? Low Renaissance. Oh, love that. Yeah, I love Lindsay. I love her. I DM'd her. We follow each other on X, but she oh. has not DM me back yet. But <laughs> Lindsay, if you're out there, we've I'm... had good luck lately, though. We got Koki. Yeah. I had someone, but I'm not going to say who. Oh my God, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and you, I can tell you were lukewarm on it, but I'm going to make it happen. I know, I know. It's like one of those things where I'm like, that's why I was like, but you never even sent me the follow-up question. I was like, has he been on podcasts? Like, I would like to see his personality. Because it's different. Like, what he does is good and he gets views. Like, he also gets views. You know what I mean? But I'm like, okay, but I need to see if he like talks. Like, he does talk. You've seen a podcast where he's been on. He has a podcast. Okay. <laughs> I'm not opposed to it. And you definitely would have to be here. I'm not opposed to it. But I, I, know. I am like, okay, let me. It's going to be so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. And then, um, obviously, Pokey. Rachel Zegler liked my comment on Instagram. Oh, so yeah. I'm, I'm working towards Rachel Zegler. Did you get her? No. Uh, I, re I reply to her stories all the time and just be like, oh, so beautiful, Rachel. Like, <laughs> look great. I love that. Um, so I'm definitely going to start. I love Rachel. I want her to come on the podcast. I think she's literally the most talented person in the whole world. And I mean that so sincerely. Like, I actually think she's, like, so talented. Like I said, bring up the tweets. Like, 2014 or something i was like oh my god like i love your covers of hamilton like way before west side story i was i really liked her and i've always and she even like thanked me for the support back in the day like it was 
I love her. I really do think she's the most talented person in the world. So, Rachel, mm-hmm. come and on. And you come around. I feel like that's a testament, you know, like. Yes. Yeah. I come. I have come around. Um, Kyle McLaughlin's people got back to me and said he's too busy right now. <laughs> but we'll so get sad. there. We'll get there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. Because we have to film some, like, literally at the end of April. Like, we have to film, like, five or six for June yeah. I give birth. Um, so maybe your person could be. <laughs> like, not to say he's a bad because he's really popular. Like, it's not to say he's a bad guest. It's just, like, more of, like. Okay, I gotta maybe get into it somehow. Yeah, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay. Mm-hmm. He looks like you. That's literally what Moses said. He's like, oh, it looks like Oscar. That's what I thought too when he told me the thing. I was He's like, like the hotter me. He literally looks like just like you. <laughs> I was like, got I it. Wish. It's got so, it. He's so cute. Oh my God, that's so funny. I'm so excited. You have like no type. Your type is everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like everybody. It's I'm like, true. that guy is so different than like other guys you think are cute. Like Hassan from versus him. Oh yeah, he's another one. I got it. I replied to all his stories too. His dog just celebrated her first birthday. And what did you say? Say. Um, happy birthday. <laughs> I think the dog's oh my I think god. her name is like Katya or something. I don't oh know. Oh my god, after Begins drag race. <laughs> after Trixie and Katya. <laughs> Maybe he's a secret drag race fan. Is the name Hassan? Is that like from China? Is that like a Chinese name, Hassan? I don't think so. Like no, it's, was, it's Arabic. Oh, Arabic. What was the name of Don Yasmin's character in Mulan? Isn't that Hassan? I don't know, but not Hassan. Okay, it would be it could be similar, it? but Captain Lee Shang? Li Shang, yeah, Li Shang. <laughs> no, <laughs> <And it's okay. laughs> I don't know. I just I've been really into Chinese culture lately, so I just was like, maybe he's part Chinese or something. I don't know. I would love to go on the trainers. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where we started. Is that where we started? Right. I would love to be on it. I don't think I can wear pink. I think they give you a dress code, but uh, God, I love Alan Cumming. We listened to him on the way back, and he's so great. Oh, I don't care what you say or what happens in the end. This is my interpretation, and it goes. I love him. <laughs> God, he's so good. Oh, he's so good. Did you watch any oncoming movies since we've last talked? Only X, yeah, X2 is the last can one I saw. Can you watch something good so we can talk <laughs> about how great he is? Where is Kate? How oh. come we never use her as a thumbnail? I feel like she's the hot one right now. Or you think it would flop? Um, well, we did the Royals with like Charles. They flopped. That one flopped. So, yeah. But Kate Middleton <laughs> is not the flop. That's why I was saying I wish you – and I'm only saying this because I don't think she's dead, everybody, okay? But it's like when I was saying I want her as the reincarnation, I feel like she's she's the queen. She's the princess yeah. Diana of our generation. Put well, my Kate strategy. and Elvis attire. <laughs> no, no. I know she's alive. I know there's all so many conspiracies that are like, oh, she's like dead. If she was dead, we would know she's dead. Like you can't just like – it's like – you would just know. Like, if you kill someone off, that's one thing, okay? But, like, you would know that they're dead. Oh, a horrible accident. Like, they said she had surgery. Oh, my God. Surgery complications, yeah. you know? So, I think those get a little wild. It de- it makes it worse, though, when there's nothing. Like, get her on video. Get her something. When there's nothing, it just makes the speculation. Supposedly, we should look today because they said there's a statement coming out soon from the royal family. Um, Yeah. I looked into it because also the flag was, like, half mast. Um, but it's just because King Charles is away and he's going to make an appearance somewhere. I forget where he's making an appearance. Somewhere. Wait, the flag is, ha- but I thought that's if someone died. It's whenever the King isn't in wherever. Really? Yeah. Is Here it's definitely like if someone dies. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. People can break in if they know he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be the advantage of living at Buckingham Palace. You always have security. We should have a flag. <laughs> then we can confuse Well, we're going to have security. If we go to Scotland, we're for sure having security. Again, I, I don't know. I guess it's not a big deal. Whatever. <laughs> And we don't have anything. We have a rainbow broken. I'll take the rainbow broken with me. I wonder if they let me wear it on the traders. Yeah, for sure. Mm, they need some. They need some more gay representation on there. Not that I'd be the gay rep, but I could bring my broken to be the gay representation. Because they had no gay people this <laughs> my except, Birkin is gay. right? Yeah, they had peppermint, but she was trans, so they and they didn't have a good yeah, look. Yeah, did they have anyone? Gay? I Ooh. guess Parvati's queer. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't think anyone else. I think just peppermint. Alan? <laughs> that that's true he's the bi there's no gay gay though he's bi yeah. we have queer we have we need a gay gay yeah call the Dua Lipa stan <laughs> Kenzo 17 <laughs> oh call the one that came Jazzy because yeah. they can figure it out yeah Jazzy, Jazzy we'll figure it out um, could you imagine I was I feel like Trader Season 3 would have someone like that where it's just like okay they asked Jazzy from Stan Twitter but not me <laughs> That happens all the time when I watch these shows. I'm like, what? You being like traumatized <laughs> by Escape the Night is so funny. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started. Don't even. I don't even get me started. I still get so like, what? You do get very triggered by it. That's wild to me. Anything, anything Escape the Night. Like, don't even mention it to me. How is it doing? Is that getting picked up or what's happening? Um, He raised money for it. I think he's they're making like a 20-minute episode. A little teaser. It. Are you producing it? No. I wonder if Daniel is. 
T. Maybe. I have no idea. Call them up. I haven't heard much about it. You don't it, text them? Not in a long time. But in my defense, I don't, haven't really talked to anyone really because it's been kind of like Same. busy. But yeah. um, I should catch up with them soon. Yeah. I, I did see <laughs> Jan- Joey posted a vlog that it was like a, like – apologies like this is what's been going on i was like oh he's gonna i was like oh there's Ooh. gonna be an update but what was just it? in london or england he loves going there <laughs> well, i saw you last before oh really oh yeah they took pictures of like yeah. them with the babies, babies. or something like yeah. that i feel like the t- last time i saw you before this podcast was with joey and he was going to england yeah he's always there he loves it he does love maybe it he should move there. there actually i think he basically i mean he said in the video he's like airbnb or something his house so like he basically mm-hmm. is living in england now for wow. until like end of the year or something i, don't I was know. single i would do that i always tell people that i was single. i'm like i don't know go try living in a different country i wish i would have like done that i wish i would have tried living in a different country for like a month or something you know when i was single like italy what was that movie on netflix i watched it was so sad it was zoe saldano <laughs> did you ever see that oh, one? Oh, the something about cooking or something yeah. Right? yeah and it was like so cute and she like met this hot chef that cooked pasta and then i got really sad and he like started dying and like Maybe. i was like oh so maybe like Emily in Paris is like the yes, like I thought we didn't like version. Emily in Paris. No, but it's like some idea. She moved to Paris, falls in love, blah blah blah. blah. Paris is pickpocketers oh, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. They say you get like robbed all the time. Shout out Paris, but like I mean, not shout, <laughs> I mean, no offense, Paris is what I meant to say. They, uh, yeah, I heard there's a lot of crime there. So, and that's where Kim got kidnapped. And I mean, honestly, if Kim Kardashian got kidnapped in Paris, I mean, that's crazy. No, none of us are safe because she has like security and stuff like that. Like that's so insane. And I believe her story, but also like definitely not going to Paris anytime soon. Scotland has no crime. I'm really big on Scotland. <laughs> like how do they have nothing going on Cause it's like, in a good it's, way? It's probably like Canada, you know, it's like there's nothing happening. So there's nothing happening. Well, I heard Canada is not the best place either, but not like safety wise, just in general. It's just kind of like the economy is not great. But they they don't don't have I would love to go. They don't have Target, we found out. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. I'm all about Scotland. I'm here for it. I'll go stay in the castle without we're coming. <laughs> oh, I want to go on it so bad. Um, should we do our, our weekly canceled uh, tour update? Canceled. Yeah. <laughs> this is the canceled after show. Where yeah. Every, yeah, kill it, go. Where we get the tea from Tana and Brooke sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes we can't share the tea because we're actual friends <laughs> so i have to say this is the end allegedly <laughs> sometimes i do know tea it was like like tar we had tar yummy and she's so sweet and uh, she was like telling me like i guess a little bit of tea and i was like and she's like oh but can, i'm like she goes, but don't say anything i was like oh no i won't but it's so hard for me to like know something <laughs> and know. not and i respect it i told her i was like you know what i don't say this this is this about past guests we've had not just tana and brooke but like um jake or anyone that tells me stuff in confidence i'm 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 good i'm like a i'm like a brick wall because i do wendy had no friends and she was like fine with it you know but there are some people that i truly love and it's like tana and brooke i like truly love so i don't want them to think if they tell me something that i will share it all but like that's why when i hear them say something i'm like okay i know that, yeah, then, then yeah, i can yeah. say it you know what i mean and tara too she's so sweet and so i'm just like i told her i said i she's she's up there with tana and brooke for me now where i'm like no one can say anything bad about you. Even if you were in the wrong, I don't care. I'm still going to defend you. I'm going to like, I'm Stan Twitter for Tana, Brooke, and Tara. That's my Stan Twitter that. forever. So, okay. What is the canceled well, they, tour up to? Last week, we talked about how the, the fan rushed the stage. And Scary. I, another I saw Another little incident. Um, someone gave Tana a Peppa Pig plush that had an air tag inside the plush. What's air tag? Um, it's like the oh. thing by Apple, so it like tracks wherever. It's like a GPS yeah. tracker. Like basically, they can see on their oh phone my. wherever she is at all times. Oh, it's not wild. Well, who was it? And who said it? And who exposed it? Um, well, Tana, I think Brooke showed that she got an alert because, like, <gasps> say if you don't own the air tag, like it'll get an uh, you get a notification on your phone, like um, saying that there's an air tag with you. So Brooke had got it on her phone, the message. I saw like a photo of her holding it, like an air tag with you. And then they had said that um, these girls, they know the, the girls who gave the plush. And then the girls actually went and like met them at 3 a.m. at a gas station because um, they used the air tag to like try to Invited or uninvited? Them. Uninvited. They just saw, they followed them to this gas station at 3 a.m. I guess when the bus was filling up. And they tracked them via the air tag and showed up. So now, um, and who t- who told the story? Tana on on the tour. 
Cause on the tour, she told the story, or yes. like an Instagram story. No, she. So it happened on tour, the the Peppa Pig and the Air Attack, and then the next canceled date, like the next tour. Date, How did you see this? I thought they keep everything like tight lipped. What they talk about? This was on TikTok. The she pulled out the Peppa Pig. Oh she took out the Air Tag from inside the Peppa. I said an Air Tag, but that's all I saw was just that little tiny clip. I miss um, so much when we go to Vegas. I wanted to see. Oh my god, yeah. this is why I don't do live shows. People I are gonna say, freaky. It's gonna, it's gonna add to your Abs- paranoia. Absolutely not. Everyone, everyone I meet with, talk to. Oh, you want to do tours? You want to do mingers? Absolutely not. <laughs> People are insane. They probably put an air tag in my head or something like that that I couldn't get out. It'd be like insane. It's scary. No way. So what did the girls? Did the girls respond or anything? No. Um. I think they just said it was weird. And Brooke was like, "Well, you guys, like, you know where we're gonna be because we're like we have tour dates, you know, and they're doing me and Greece, so it's not like they're impossible to meet. But now <sighs> I guess um, other fans are saying that now whenever they bring gifts, they have to give them to security first, and then the security is like going through them and checking everything to make sure there's oh, no like my cameras, God. microphones, air tags, anything. Yeah, one person does ruin it for everyone but i'm telling you like i've had weird i had like two weird incidences with gifts and like never again and i was like i don't like to take gifts i don't except if someone like brought food well a, a lot of people brought food so i don't want anyone to think it's about them but like a lot of people brought food but one person brought food and it had like something very sus in it and uh-huh. i was like never again and i think that was at my la show and i was like it was the last last show of my tour my last one and i was like no never again because people are sickos yeah it does make me nervous even for like people with p.o boxes and stuff because i remember oh yeah this is very very random but i just remember them specifically carly and aaron like their big thing when they were vlogging was they had like a p.o box and they would go and they would have like like carts and carts and carts and carts of fan mail oh my gosh and i'm like that's a little scary now because you never know what's inside that's those overwhelming i had a p.o box for like two weeks i was like that's so much <laughs> it's so nice but it is it's so much it's a little yeah you have to have like a full-time person but it is scary and then like what are they gonna send you you know mm-hmm. mm. it's, it's literally like one two people ruining it for everyone so i'm so sorry for people who want to like actually get gifts but i never do for that reason i'm always just like well this person doesn't know me and yeah stuff like that. <gasps> That's it is scary. weird, especially poor Tana, because she already has so many like you know scary security mm, things. Yeah, and then, like you could tell the how she ran off the stage. the stage. She was just like terrified, uh-huh. and I would be too. That'd be me. Yeah, and then the air tag thing too. I'm like my god. And then I was thinking too, like okay, if you have an Android, like how would you know if an air tag is with you? Because because you wouldn't. Reason, yeah. no, they were they were totally lucky that they found out uh-huh. the air tag and that early too. Because they could have gone undetected for a long time if they just threw yeah. it in the box. I wonder how they knew it was the Peppa Pig. But they must have just started looking, started looking in stuff and see what they got oh recently. My God, that but freaks me out. Yeah. Today, technology is so advanced that you can easily. Uh, they, I mean, they can put a GPS tracker on the bus, so nobody will ever know. Ew! I hate that so much. Mm-hmm. No, I hate it. I hate the whole all, or all of it, the whole thing. It's so scary. Yeah, and especially too. Like I then I was reading, and there's like other versions of air tags like same idea where mm-hmm. they're like harder to track or whatever and then you have to get like different apps that'll track that'll like alert you if there's like any kind of gps tracker or something on you i don't know it's weird people can do weird stuff with no technology. that that's so scary and and because they're kind of like out there by themselves i mean they have like people around them obviously like she has her boyfriend and i think Paige is out there and like you know there's probably like a tour manager but still it's like you're kind of out there by yourself you know what i mean and there's there are two young girls and at the end of the day, they are just, like, human beings. So it's, like, I don't know. It's just, like, scary, the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, like, they'll be fine. I mean, everyone – like, I also I do live in this world of, like, fear. And everyone's like, you can't live in fear. And, like, that's literally me. I, like, live my life in fear. <laughs> but it is, like, you know, especially when that stuff happens, you're just, like, okay. I, I think I think they talked about this. I think I saw on Canceled, oh, how her fandom is. She said they're, like, extreme. Oh, yeah. Were we watching it together? Yeah, what did she say were- about it? They were just talking, which is very true also for you. It's like they assume that the way she is on camera is oh, the right. way she is twenty four seven. So they'll they'll just show up and they'll like shove the camera to one of Tana's friends, like take a picture of us. Like just be yeah. like abrasive. She goes, Cause I can be abrasive yeah, in my so videos. Like people think they can just they, talk however uh, to me. Think that, or be like, I thought I would hate you and stuff like just like really like nasty. Oh. And I think her fandom and like not a bad way, obviously, because like hi Tana's fandom, like they came over here, we love you. <laughs> but I feel like that she does have that group of people that think they can just say and do whatever because she's just such a chill, cool person. So they're just – she'll say. She said she'll go out with other influencers and their people are, like, so respectful and so nice. I'll have to say my my fan base, if you'll call it, they are very nice. Like, literally, they're so nice. So, like, it's – they're always really cool. If I always say, like, I'm with my daughter or whatever, they're super cool. But, yeah, I've never had someone, like, come up and be like, take our picture. They'll be really shy, actually. They'll be like, uh, can someone take a picture? 
<laughs> I'm like, Moses <laughs> counter or mom counter or something like that. But um, it seems like she might have a little more rowdy. Rowdy. Yeah. Well, even the crowd seems rowdy. I know, we, I think we talked about this on here where they were like heckling, or was it a TikTok? Or maybe someone on TikTok said that like someone was, oh, it was. It was a girl, I think like Cleveland or something. She said there was like a heckler the whole show. Like no matter what they said, this heckler would say something after. And it was just like, she was like, couldn't enjoy the show because it was like so annoying. She was not hate to Tanner or Brooke. It was just like people being so loud and obnoxious during the show where it's like them talking. So like heckling while someone's talking and telling a story like doesn't work. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they have tightened. I know they. Have, that's the problem though. Then you have to tighten security, and then it costs more money, and then it's like, what's even the point of touring and yeah. stuff like that? But, um, it's scary out there. I don't like to leave. I never leave my house by myself at all ever. My mom and I went to see Donnie by ourselves, and <laughs> there was a guy across the way of our hotel. And we were like, oh, we were like two steps away from our hotel room. And the guy's like, hey, like he was there before we left. And when we got back, he's like, you girls know where the ice machine is. Something so stupid. And I was just like, before I could even answer, I see Moses come outside the door. And he's like, everything okay? <laughs> and I was like, how did you hear that? Whatever. Because I said, the ice, I'm like, oh, it was down the elevator or something. But people are crazy. And it's always when Moses is not around. Like if a guy's not around, you're lucky you're a guy. When a guy's not around, like that's when everyone gets crazy. It's obviously like the guy in the hallway, I mean – you're asking somebody who just came out of the elevator with in the Vegas, ice machine. Obviously, you're not in looking Vegas. for the ice machine. Mm -hmm. So, but I, I just heard a tiny bit of your voice. I just heard a guy talk. I was like, straight out the door. I love it. But then also, Malibu <laughs> comes out the door too. I was like, okay, everyone needs to go back inside. <laughs> She's my people. backup. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, it does happen. And where else were we? It was me and my mom. And like, literally, oh, we were taking the elevator because we had the stroller and Moses going down with Malibu. And when we met you downstairs, like, literally, in the course of us going to the escalator, Moses going down the, we were going to the elevator, he's going to the escalator. In the course of that, what, like, minute and a half, oh, yeah. this guy, like, hit on us. He's like, oh, hey, ladies, looking good. I was like, how is that? Like, we literally just came <laughs> and down. And she's pushing a stroller. I'm pushing a stroller with my mom. I'm just like, this is so <laughs> odd. People, guys just cannot control themselves. It's very weird. Oh, and I was not cute that time. You. And I was not looking cute. I didn't even have my makeup on. I don't know. You, it's so real, the girl uh, trauma of it all, like having to be a girl because you do get harassed literally all the time. And mm. I didn't notice that because we don't leave my house. I never leave my house. So when I do, I'm just like, this is why I don't leave my house. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> People just, I don't know. I mean, wild. I don't I don't know. Yeah. It's awful. Men are insane. They are. I don't like them. It's the hot take right there. <laughs> Unless you're Alan Cumming, Moses, or Oscar. <laughs> or Ted or Hassan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, them too. Ted is on and <laughs> whoever else I end up. Yeah, the weekend. I think the weekend's engaged. One of the weekend fan sites said he was engaged oh. to his girlfriend. Makes me sad. I get a little sad sometimes. Do you ever think about that? You're like, I used to love Macaulay Culkin, and I'm so happy for him and Brenda Song. But sometimes I see them, I'm like, oh, could have been me. Really? I guess because I've only like loved like girls so much that I'm like, you ever get jealous though? No. I mean, the only thing when I was younger and like kind of crazy, I was like. Um, the thought of like Taylor having like a kid and I was like oh my gosh she's gonna love that kid more than she would ever love me <laughs> and then that, that would real. make me sad oh that's a real I love that I love when you say real stuff like that I get it yeah that's what I'm saying because I feel like so many people can relate I, yeah totally when people I would be like that when a, a male would have a baby with somebody I'd be like oh man I'm like guess I'm not, it's not gonna be for me or something I think it was Giant Debt Michael Jackson I really thought oh man like I guess I won't be having a kid with them or something like it made me so sad yeah. Well, I guess nowadays you can have a kid and still be with somebody That's else. So <laughs> like, it's fine. Give them a few months. <laughs> oh, wild. Um, I meant to get to the story earlier, but the Bobby Altoff being allegedly kicked out of Drake. Oh, you wanted to make this at the top of the show? You're like, I meant to get to this earlier. Yeah. Well, when we one. talked about podcasts and I was like, oh, oh Bobby Oak. Right, um, right. <laughs> he wasn't even there at the... Bobby Altoff went to a Drake party, supposedly, allegedly, but he wasn't there. Yeah. At Do you South really believe this? I mean, it's so weird. Like, why would she show up unannounced? Like, I know. I don't know. And it, it all seems... was very much like, you know, it's one of those stories where it's like very like gossipy and like sources yeah. and blah, 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 blah. So it's kind of the one of the ones that you have to take with like a grain of salt. And just if you find it fun, then it is what it is, I guess. But I'm just like so... If I'm going to be – I feel like today – I'm sorry if I feel – I feel like I've been doing good being positive. I feel a little, like, positive. I just feel, like, tired and fat today. So you guys know. When it's tired – hence why I'm wearing God. this. Everyone's probably like, what? Okay. But anyways, I think Bobby Altoff, I'm just, like, kind of over. Like, I am too kind – I mean, I feel bad in a way. I don't know. I guess because that part of me that's always, like, you know, rooting for the girls. Even though yeah. I've never really liked her shtick or whatever. But I feel like it kind of burnt so hot and then it's, like, fizzling out a little bit. I, like, I don't know how she – 
does now. I just don't see anything now, you know? So I'm like, is she doing okay? And then the she divorce. She interviewed and... another rapper recently. She had like a sweatshirt on and people were like, oh, she like left her husband just to be with all these rappers. I mean, oh. like you said, sometimes, yeah, the ridicule is like unfair, like whatever. Oh, she left her husband for this. She left her husband and kids for this or whatever. It's like, okay, we obviously don't know that story, but. Yeah. And with the, this story too feels like kind of like a, a, kind of like trying to dunk on her a little bit because yeah, Drake wasn't even at the party, but Daily Mail reports that his team wasn't even happy that she was there anyway and that she was um, kicked out of the party because they didn't take Kylie to her presence there. And I'm like, oh my God, is that really necessary? Like, <laughs> like where is it? What is this? Like, why would she just show up? Like, it just doesn't seem real. Uh huh. Um, the quote <sighs> from a source says, I have no idea how she got in because she was not invited by organizers or hosts of the event. A source told Daily Mail, if you look up the past history between her and Drake, it's easy to see why she wasn't invited and why she was removed as soon as possible. Where was she? Where was the event? Um, In Texas, South by Southwest. Oh, so maybe she just thought it was a party. Maybe she didn't know it was like Drake's or something. She yeah, just went in. it's all parties there. It's like all like premieres and after parties, you know. What was that happening this weekend too? Uh, this past week, yeah. Wow, everything was happening. Rolling Loud, <laughs> yeah. South by but Southwest, what, Donnie, but what Spring is Break. So obvious about their... Just because they unfollowed each other, like is that's that what whole, I mean? Yeah, because like, because I mean, I think maybe it's just more people of the same rumors. Because the rumor was that he, the video of him, he sent to her, and her ex is the one that put oh that video out god. there. Oh right, the conspiracies are deep. She's yeah. So anyway, oh my god, that's a mess. Yeah, so I was like, why is this the narrative? Why is this the story? Why do people care? I feel like the Drake thing was so long ago; it's taken down. Like it just seems like old news. Yeah, I kind of wish she would like fight for herself a little bit i get i get why like you kind of just roll with the punches or whatever but sometimes i'm like girl get up girl get up let's oh, fight for back, sure you know? especially when you're the hot topic like you yeah. don't talk about it all day long especially like the leaked nudes and stuff like she did like those are not real the date the portway AI situation thing, yeah. you know she stood up for herself so i feel like what was the dave one was it i the... think he alluded that um her and drake oh. had like a sexual relationship when that wasn't the case right yeah this is why i won't call me a house he sent me another email and the producer is very nice like it's obviously like not the host sending it to me he's like hey checking in again if you want to oh. be on bfs they're gonna be in la this date they're coming to la all of them um and he's like you know if there's any concerns i know you might have some concerns about being on the show i was just like i trust the producer but i feel like if i'm like oh i don't want to talk about this this is this dave will be like so he i know we're supposed to ask you about this but what what's going on with that i would only want to go on because then i would want to like ask dave portnoy about silvana because <laughs> i'd be like well he can come here let's start the- <laughs> right, right. oh yeah. my god could you imagine <laughs> i don't year. mind i don't mind any of them but they they just scare me so i said yeah, yeah just yeah. ignore the email i remember again i'm like ah it's i don't know what it is i get actually scared i get scared but i was like let me put this out there it's like you know when you're scared so you just put something out there you're like let me just put this out there so people know i'm scared yeah. so like don't come for me don't attack me because i'm so scared of you you know what i mean <laughs> that's why i don't like to talk trash or anything i'm just like they're cool yeah, I like them. you don't want to like put the invitation up to like you know have a, a little feud or we whatever, didn't, and there's but... no feud bffs will always win they're scarier and tougher and they're from the east coast and i can't handle that i'm a west coast girly you know what i mean and i can't handle all of it but i do watch the clips i think they're fun they're funny but scary too intimidating <laughs> you don't think they're funny i think they're like no i think they're funny yeah i, I think they are i don't find them that intimidating but that's just me maybe because also i just like ignore everything so like, right yeah. yeah you're better at it i just don't like to be in feuds <laughs> i don't like to be in feuds i don't want anyone to think i'm mad i don't want anyone to come for me because i just again i because there is so much shit in my past so it's like you get a feud with someone and it's like well remember this this and then things come that's up from true. like so and then you're just like okay yeah and it's like cohesive everyone has stuff in their past their closets but anyways Shout out BFFs. Uh, I will not be coming on because I'm BFFs. terrified. I can't. Are you good at doing like the, the Gen Z heart? I'm no. really bad at it. No. What I'm was terrible. what was wrong with the original heart? This one. This one's oh. for all these. Chewy. Uh, yeah. This, this is the, cool. like the cute girls. That's cute. It. That's a cute one. I'm bad at like straightening my fingers. So. I can't do it. But Why are you even doing that? That's, good. that's You're just good. okay. Yeah. You you got it. Who are you doing it to? Um, Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's to Donnie. <laughs> Who's yours too, babe? You. Oh, oh my god! You have to go and do that. <laughs> Thank I'm you. excited that Dave is coming to LA. We'll find out what good pizza we have here. 
Well, we know he likes Apollonia. See, that's I'm Stan. He likes Apollonia's, and I always try to go there, and they're always freaking closed when I try and go there. It's on Wilshire Boulevard, Wilshire and La Brea. I've tried to go on like three or four times, and like literally always closed. It takes cash only. It's his favorite pizza in all the country. I wonder what he'll think about the Little Caesars cheesy puff. Oh, <laughs> that's the review we want. Yeah. Okay, Dave, come over and have those little little cheesy puffs. puffs. I'm excited yeah. to try it. <laughs> what time are we cleaning close to snack time? We're getting close. Ish. Twenty more minutes. Do, till we order? Till we order. Oh yeah. my god, that's like 40 more minutes till we eat, but I guess we can hang out. We can just do it in here. They're little, they're tiny. We can just do yeah. a cute little thing here. Oh man, we passed all the aliens on the way oh, to Vegas yeah. again. I saw your little <sighs> alien haul. Oh yeah, we did that. We got that. I know, I can't wait to do our alien hotel with... Uh, Holly and Tana. Probably after I gave birth, but yeah, we're going to go look for aliens today. I believe. If anyone can do it, it's you three. I think sure. so too. Definitely Holly. Holly gives me alien vibes for sure in the best way possible. <laughs> she's very tapped in. Yeah. So. I tell most all the time. I'm like, she's so, like, getting to know her. I'm like, she's so, like, weird, like, weird, weird girl. And I love it. Like, she's such a weird girl in the best way. And it makes me feel so much more comfortable because I know I'm, like, weird. And so it makes, it's like different kind of weirdness. And I love that about it. Like, my tavern, I just did a tavern one on St. Patrick's Day and she commented, um, I said something like flesh and bone. She just, ooh, this implies that there's ghosts in the tavern. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. So you like, I didn't even <laughs> think about that. She's creating lore. She did. Yeah. She did. She's like in the universe, in the tavern universe. I was like, oh my God, I love this. So I love her. Have She's my best friend. A, have you not done ta- a tavern together yet? Oh, I'd be very intimidated mm-hmm. still. Like, I love Holly. And, like, in text, I'm like, oh, she's, like, this weird, quirky girl. And I love her. But in person, I'm still really intimidated because she's, like, so that, beautiful yeah. and tiny and just perfect in every way. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I feel like an ogre. If I'm being honest, I feel like an ogre next to her oh because God. she is just, like, this princess in, like, a tower. And I just feel like, hmm, like, I just feel like an ogre. I don't know. And she's gorgeous. I just, I, pretty girls, I love them, but I get intimidated by them so easily. I, I get that. That was me at Drag Race with everyone at the <laughs> convention when everyone was so, like, skinny and cute and, uh, and meet and greets. I'd be like, Especially those queens, because they, you know, they pad, they do all the stuff that makes them look absolutely perfect, uh, perfect makeup. Yeah. All of it. I had that moment. Like, I was telling you, um, with, who was it? Who did I feel, like, extra ugly by? <laughs> I remember sitting, like, they had, like, a, their meet and greet was, oh, like, Lux. sitting. Oh, yeah, Lux, Lux, Lux. Which is so crazy. That was the I told you. He went to, he met Lux Newar at I heard the. meet and greet. I had no pond. idea. Yeah. Oh, my God. And um, it was, like, the photo op was, like, sitting. Oh, and no. My boyfriend, my boyfriend just went through the photo because he's little. So I'm like, oh, that makes sense for you. And poor Lux was like, are you sure you don't want to be in it? I was like, no, no. Did you tell her why? <laughs> no, I was just like, no, just oh, you Oh, <laughs> I know. No, that was, she was one in person too where I was like intimidated too because I was like, oh my, I saw her come up and I was like, oh my gosh, like just looks so beautiful. And like even me not being pregnant, I was like, I'm just going to look short and stouty. And she just had like a gorge, like kind of like stop staring. It's like one of, yeah, she is. Yeah. Violet Trotsky this, too, I get. Is like, she very, skinny? So skinny. And yeah. Even, Another, again at drag comment when this time i was doing interviews and they just kind of come like backstage randomly and all of a sudden violet shows up and i was eating a sandwich and i was like i have to throw, throw it out, throw yeah. it out immediately yeah, yeah. she's so she, first of all she's so nice and does not care at all but i'm like no, just, yeah i would just felt like gigantic eating the sandwich no, next to the same tall queen well that's how donnie is he's very he's very um just in shape skinny all that stuff like the in the best way and at the meet and greet they had these really cute cupcakes with his like face on them and they were chocolate and I like wanted to eat them so bad I'm like I am not eating this cupcake watching oh Donnie looking so skinny and dancing his ass off on stage at 65 years old I was like there's no way I'm eating this cupcake we ate him in the hotel room and I scarfed it down when I got to the hotel room I was like <laughs> but I, I don't like to eat I like I don't know when I see someone skinny I'm just like I'm not gonna eat in front of you which maybe I need to hang around with more skinny people I don't know <laughs> then I just eat less and stuff like that I just was like oh man because I really did learn hanging out like having skinny friends and so I was just like god I really think I do overeat I think I eat too much, too. which yeah. I didn't know. You know, you get served a plate. You eat the plate. But mm-hmm. I think you're only supposed to eat a little bit of the plate. <laughs> yeah. I always think, like, you're to eat the whole thing. It's coming out. Like, I don't know. But, no, people just eat half. And I think that's – I think that is a good amount. I don't know. I'm just hungry, so. <laughs> I'm hungry all the time. It's so annoying. I hate being it. But it's fine. You need to eat. I'm not doing Ozempic, though. I tell you what. I'm not doing Ozempic. My hairstyles and makeup today, um, I used a, c- a couple different people that I, uh, just, you know, use sometimes and they're wonderful. Uh, but they were talking about how they both had Ozempic horror stories and the girl was like, I literally ate my muscle. Like I couldn't even do anything. Like she couldn't, oh. you know. Yeah. And then he was saying a client of his was like, she, same thing with like her, she was on Ozempic and like her kids would be like screaming at each other or something. And she was just like, she wasn't even present. It's like she wouldn't even like know really? they're there. Yeah. So. Was it Ozempic, like Ozempic proper or? I think it was Ozempic proper. Oh, and I think they both so took it. For the stories, I think, were from a couple of years ago. Scott Disick's face. I was going to say that, too. Yeah, Scott Disick looks not well. I mean, it's just, like, it just gets to the point, and I only say that because, like, I obviously would never, like, just say that about someone, but it's, like, the skinny craze, the Ozempic craze, everyone's just, like, so obsessed with being skinny. 
Um, hopefully it's just that. I mean, some people are saying he could be sick and stuff. Like maybe, maybe that's the case. And like, that's like sad, but it's like, I just know he was struggling with his weight on the show. So I was just like, this obsession with being skinny, it doesn't always look good, everybody, okay? Like, obviously, if you're sick, like, that's a whole other thing. But, like, just wanting to be skinny. I guess it's also how fast you lose the weight. Some people say if you lose it really fast, you get that, like, gauntness in your face. And Mm. I don't know. I think I'm really just not about it, for real, for real. After hearing the story today, because the girl was just telling me, she goes, you know, I just work out and blah, blah. I was like, you know, I just need to do that, honestly. Like, it just looks scary. I don't know. Yeah, it's really intense. I think, like I said, if you don't like take care of yourself when you're on it, well, I don't know, because my experience with the foes epic, I don't, I guess it's different because it's made just for like weight loss, I guess. But yeah. I haven't had like any negative experiences with it, and but I also like go in not expecting to lose like fifty pounds like a month or something crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's just kind of like a tool to help in the longer journey and i feel like you have to have that approach to it you can't it's not like a miracle thing you're gonna use it for like two weeks and lose like 20 pounds but i feel like they push that narrative so much but everyone who does that like like you said the muscle like that's what starts to go like you still have to like work out eat right and make sure you're still eating enough you know right because they said it was like hard on your stomach like uh the the person who's telling me a story about someone else today they were talking about like how their stomach they would eat breakfast and that's all they would have until like dinner so it was like hanging on to it and it was like it wasn't digesting it right i guess they weren't like pooping or something like oh, that like yeah. they couldn't do that so something like weird like hangs on to it and then it makes you like sick and you're some, i don't know i've just heard a lot now where i'm kind of like i think i'm definitely not gonna do it yeah i definitely still want to lose weight and be skinny but um <laughs> i think not that route for me yeah that makes sense no. i mean the fitness era will be the fitness era is coming yeah, it'll stop I don't know when. Before the traders, that's for sure, because they're propelling off the mountain. And I was like, <laughs> which inspiration? And I'm not saying this in a shady way at all, but it's like those women were all like middle aged women and they were propelling off that mountain. And because I, I, I remember when we saw the challenge, I was like, hell no, there's no way I'm going to propel off a mountain. And watching them do that, I was like, that's kind of inspiring, actually. You know, like MJ specifically, because I see more of my body type in her. I mean, she's probably a lot smaller than me, but I was just like, the fact that she did that, she's like in her 40s, like thicker body doing that. I was like, I'm going to do that too. It looks so. It was so inspiring. So I'm ready for the traders. I like how they're all older on that show too. Yeah. Because, I mean, even the like super like athletic girl, like Janelle is 44 and Parvati's oh, wow. 41. And they're wow. like slaying all the challenges too. So Well, they're athletic. But that's why I was saying the ones that kind of like made it to the end weren't because yeah. they're the ones that always like left the bugs <laughs> yeah, challenge, yeah. which would be me for sure. Like the Phaedra is all of them. You know what I mean? But the, the fact that they did it. Yeah. Obviously, Janelle, Trisha, they all look so good. Like, you know, obviously they're going like, to slay. Yeah. But um yeah, me, I don't know. It is a good segue to – I have so much Mr. Beast, like, mini tease. Oh, my God. But it's a good segue. I read that his reality show with Amazon is officially greenlit, reportedly. With Amazon? With Amazon. How much money? Um. Well, it's going to be the biggest reality <gasps> show ever. What? Reality competition show. Do you want to guess how big the prize is, the money prize? $100 million. No, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's Jesus. the number of this mu- this episode. <laughs> it's the prize is five million dollars. Okay, Amazon uh, has more money than that. <laughs> What's it for? What do you win? How's it work? There's no like real details about it yet. Just that he's gonna be hosting it. Um, and I think it'll be like a hundred people are gonna be on it. A hundred contestants. How much do you think Mr. Beast is getting paid? That's a good question. I would bet a lot of money. Because he created the show. He's hosting the show. I bet he's getting more than $5 million. Oh, for sure. I think. Let's see. Let me see if there's an update. Oh, my God. Amazon's just... supposed to give us this money. This is what's so annoying is all these companies give out all this money to everyone. And I'm just like, what What about us? Like, I don't understand. Like, how have we not gotten a big deal? I don't get it. Well, we – because we just got started. You need at least a year to run. We're almost up at a how... year. We're almost yeah. at our year. What are we going to do for 100th episode? Then you can have your statistics of, you know – who you are and what you do. Uh, I love that. Beast Games. Yeah, it is official. It just broke broke today, this morning. Ooh, Beast hot Games, news. Um, with Prime Video is going to be, he says, my goal is to make the greatest show possible and prove YouTubers and creators can succeed on other platforms. Amazon gave me the creative control I need to try and make it happen. I hope to make the YouTube community proud. Um, the prize is $5 million and 1,000 contestants, not 100. Oh, my wow. gosh. It's the largest single payout ever in TV history. Yeah, I mean, think the traders, they get, what, 100,000, <laughs> you know, it's like 5 million, it's a lot, it's like life changing. That is funny, I wonder if they get paid to be on that show, not to go back to the traders, but I wonder if they get paid just to be there. So, I'm pretty Big sure. Big Brother doesn't, like, the reg- celebrity Big Brother does, but, like, regular Big Brother, they don't get paid, they yeah. get, like, $100 a day or something. Yeah, you got a stipend, but I think yeah. if you're a celebrity, 
You do. Do you think they're considered celebrities? And I'm saying this as someone who's on the traders and I don't consider myself a celebrity. You think I'm they're... pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Even because even the challenge, like the one that like CT and Trishella mm-hmm. are on, they um, get paid too. It's because Trishella oh. said that she didn't go on the challenge because of, I think they were offering like 15,000 an episode or something. Um, and it was too little and she wanted 15,000 an episode? Something like that. I could be wrong, but it was like a pretty decent number, oh but she said it was too low to go back to the challenge. You so think she got paid more paid... than that for the traders? Oh my, I'll do the traders for $500 <laughs> a day. What the hell? Because like, reality TV just doesn't pay, but I, damn, I guess they do. Okay, right. yeah. I'm going on it. Damn. No wonder everyone wants to get on that show. They're all like, let's <laughs> like get paid. It. Yeah. That's, crazy actually like big brother definitely didn't pay that much i like, i would go on this mr b show okay i will go you can be a yeah, we'll, host it. reporter we'll go yeah. while we're compete i want to host <laughs> with jimmy yeah. you can be the- <laughs> i want to be the co-host me and rosanna pancino can be on the field reporters <laughs> and you guys can compete i think that'd be everything i would love to compete oh, a thousand God. people that is like, how could you even like film and edit and show like a thousand people competing because even Squid Games that uh, the challenge went on Netflix that yeah. was hard to follow and that had like what like a couple hundred yeah too many people mm-hmm. well obviously so many people won't get shown yeah it's kind of sad it's also just too much that's too chaotic I don't think I think it's gonna flop but I would love to have him on the podcast to talk about it <laughs> Jimmy if you want to come on we love Feastables but we don't know we bought the Target we we bought the chocolate in Target. Yes. We're going to see if it compares. I know we said that earlier. I'm very excited to see if it compares. What flavors did you get? Okay. So this also perfect segue to the next door because at the Target, last time we were talking about it, the it was full. Like they had all of them. I went back. I don't want to say it's because of us. We gave it a glowing review. <gasps> but I went back and it was Ow, pretty much almost out. Like it was scraps. They only had <sighs> milk chocolate and peanut butter. But then I was digging through all of them and I found the milk chocolate crisp one. That That's your like. fave. Yes. I like the peanut I butter. I found one of those. Wow. Which, what was your fave? The almond. There was no almond <gasps> there. Oh, your review then really sold it. Everyone's yeah. like, we're going to get the almond. And um, Mr. Beast had to issue a public apology to fans as Feastables sold out almost everywhere. Um, Damn, that PR packaging works. <laughs> really sending it to everybody. Work. He said, Feastables is basically sold out at the moment. Around 20% of stores still have some. I'm doing everything I can to get some more chocolate factories up and running. Sorry for not being able. Mr. Beast, so- get in that factory. <laughs> turn that chocolate yourself. Stock it in the stores. You don't have to give them SQ codes. Nothing. Just go in there and start selling. Sell it outside the store, actually. Like the little Girl, Girl Scouts. Scouts. Yeah, do that if you want to get it. If you really care about your fans wanting your chocolate, you would do that. You would go stand outside ralph's and sell it i would love to see that actually and he says people a lot uh the states around alongside the border are s- buying them and then selling them for like twice three times four times the price in mexico i don't know how wow. he's getting all this information but usually he's, usually he's it's the other way around right yeah <laughs> what people buy stuff in mexico and bring it here and up wow up yeah ahead. yeah that's where they're upselling in mexico well, maybe they can't get it there. There's probably a lot of Mr. Beast fans in Mexico. My Couple Romance has a lot of uh, fans in Mexico, and you wouldn't expect that. I was like, damn, they have like so many fans there. And then the now we have the Mr. Beast tea because this is Ooh, some more than that. Yeah, this is actually this is a pretty good story because okay. it's like deep in Reddit. I had to go because um, someone had posted that Mr. Beast ghosted them after promising them mm-hmm. a prize for being in one of their videos. A um, prize? What does yes. that mean? Like okay. Yeah. Let me pull up the my story on it because I have I wrote down all the names and everything. Um, okay, so a Reddit user claimed that Mr. Beast ghosted them after they participated in his video that went up in December. Um, I rescued a hundred abandoned dogs. So uh, this user C Special Four Five Four Six posted in like the advice Reddit with the title "Me and a bunch of people got screwed over by a big YouTube YouTuber and I don't know what to do." Um, and then it gets kind of suspicious because this post was on just like the general like advice Reddit, but then mm-hmm. it got cross posted to the Mr. Beast Reddit, Ooh. I guess for help. But then it got the post got removed completely after it got cross posted to the Mr. Beast one. So there's realness to the story. Whenever I things get removed, realness. that's why you don't delete shit. <laughs> that's why I will not delete a tweet because it just looks more suspicious. Like you're like, oh yeah, yeah I was in the wrong for it. Just keep it up. And I was mad because I didn't screenshot the original. So I went mm. back. I sent myself a link to go back to it, like, when I was prepping. And it was gone. I was like, oh, my God. So then I had to go and, like, get the story from, like, all the comments and, like, replies. So this is just, like, pieces of it. And I did reach out to the user for a statement. But I did not hear back. They haven't been on Reddit in, like, four days. Oh, um, they left. They went. <laughs> they said it. And they said they're not on social media at all besides okay. Reddit. Like, no Instagram or anything. Um, but I did do some digging. 
But basically, um, Mr. Beast partnered with uh, this adoption agency, um, I think in Florida, and to help get 100, dog, 100 abandoned dogs adopted. And part of the exchange of um, these people participating and being in the video and adopting the dogs was that he promised them free pet insurance for life and free mm. dog food for oh, life. Oh, okay, practical. Um, but he, this person claims that they, they did get the pet insurance, but they never got the dog food. And um, that after they filmed, uh, Mr. Beast just packed up and left, like didn't have any like communication with them at oh. all. And that they have reached out to like the adoption agency. They reached out to Mr. Beast's teams um, and they have like never heard back at all. And he's – so it's just a little suspicious, especially that video has like 120 <sighs> million views. Yeah. So obviously you can afford to give these people dog oh, food. Oh, for you sure. Know? Right? You get a sponsor to pay, get their dog food for them. And, That's crazy. And all these people didn't get paid to participate in the video and they did have to sign like waivers and stuff. But they said that – um, they signed the waivers, but ne- and they were supposed to get a copy, but never got a copy like emailed to them. Mm, um, but, sketchy. And they said that the only reason they participated was uh, just obviously to be able to get the dog food back because they're not influencers. They don't want to be on camera. Yeah. But obviously if they're getting free dog food for life is why they would do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. because that is expensive. Like, I know he can do it because obviously he's a Mr. Beast. He has a whole machine behind him. He has now this Amazon deal, which is probably crazy. Um, I pay for my dog's dog food, the one I got for, like, I don't know, five years ago. And I gave it to my mom <laughs> and I said, I promise I'll pay for all the bills, all the things. Because, like, it's, it's expensive. It's it expensive. Is, yeah. And it's like, you just you just do it. You know what I mean? It's like, that's really sh- – especially because it's a dog. This is the thing, right? Don't give – I feel like this is like, should just be a rule. Like, you don't give, like – gift someone a pet if you're not going to take care of it you know what yeah. i mean like i was gifted a pet and i couldn't have i couldn't take care of it because i didn't have the house i didn't have the space i didn't have the guard so if he's offering to take care of these dogs and then doesn't do it that's like really because now you're putting them in this situation that they wouldn't have been in because like either you know it's just expensive it's like having a little child yeah like it's so expensive and it's like and not to be morbid but like dogs lives are only like 13 15 years or something like that so it's like you can pay for that. It's not like you're doing it for the rest of your life. Even if you did, I mean, you could still make the money off that residual, off that video, whatever, sponsorships, whatever. Mm-hmm. Ew. Is this alleged or is this real? I mean, this person is claiming it. It seems real because it's so specific and they posted mm-hmm. the timestamp of when they're in the video and they had, they said that you can like literally reach out to the, um, I think it's called Sea Dog Ranch is what the adoption agency is called and they have the paperwork of who adopted. So it seems pretty real. I mean, there's like receipts and stuff and it's also like not that damning like to Mr. Beast just like give them the freaking dog food. Like that's yeah. all you have to do. It's not that hard. You know? How many people? How many people got dogs? A hundred, a hundred families, I guess, because it was a hundred dogs. Well, some yeah. people got two. So, I mean, even less, I guess. This happens though. It's like, you remember that show with Ty Pennington? It was like the house yes. show. And same thing. People were stuck with like the insurance on the house, mm-hmm. the property taxes, like all this stuff like that. And they're all like, and these were families that basically like they were, they needed help. And so like they would come and build these like fancy houses, ramps and kids playrooms for people that like, it was like the real gypsy roses, right? The ones that were like sick or going through something or whatever. Yeah. And then they were stuck with this bill. They couldn't afford it. Then they were left like basically homeless because they had like a, a modest house and then it became this big house that they couldn't afford and then they were left with no house at all. Yeah. And then whereas the Ty Pennington, what was that show called? It's that move that extreme move that home makeover? Extreme home makeover. Yeah. It's like, where do they go? Well, nowhere because they're not in production anymore. So like, who are you going to talk to? It's so like sketchy and the mr beast is sketchy of it all like don't give those things out because it is a really great gesture it's really nice but like don't do that if you're not gonna follow through yeah especially if these people are participating like they're giving their face to and like their time to like be in a video and if that's what you promise these normal yeah. people in order to like, use them on camera then you kind of have to follow through i that. hate that that's so do so you think he has like such a team behind him because obviously there's like a lot of people so you think like a lawyer somebody could like step in and take care of it for him mm-hmm. but it's not like he has to deal with this directly and then this person did say they Someone after the post got deleted, someone reached out claiming to like be on Mr. Beast's team from Reddit and said that they would flag it for him and take care of it, but nothing yet. And also in the video, Dave Bautista was in it from Dune and Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm like, if you could afford Dave Bautista, give these people some freaking dog food. That it's sounds so- like the guy from Love Is Blind. It wasn't his name, Bautista. <laughs> Ooh. Do you remember Bautista? The barista. <laughs> yeah, remember he was like, Batiste. he has a kid now. No, I don't remember at all. Wait, really? He was on last season. Batiste. Batiste. He was with the, he was with a really sweet girl whose like family got so pissed at oh, the at wedding. The yeah. yeah. God, what was her name? She was kind of like. And there was, the brother was like, wanted to be. Yeah. 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 And Batiste. Yeah. Who did you say? Dave Batiste? Dave Batista. Okay. <laughs> Isn't there someone that you're friends with named Dave, David, David Alvarez. 
Oh, yes. Are yes, you friends yes. with him or no? Because he keeps getting brought up. He keeps getting brought up all the time. Who else brought him up? A guest we had recently. Oh. And I was like, wait, why does that name sound familiar? And then she's like, oh, I think Tara? it's Oscar's friend. Yeah. Yeah. Tara's friends with Tara oh, okay. and Jake are friends with him. He does the cut videos. Yes. Jubilee to cut. Yeah. Is that two different things, Jubilee and cut? They're different, but they're pretty much the same. Cut sent me a DM. The white cut. wall. Yeah. Cut was like, we want to put you in a video. And I'm like, what is it? It's like those white wall things, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I think they wanted Malibu, though. And I was kind of like, Ugh. oh, yeah. Well, that's funny. I saw a friend of mine on one of their things. Really? I didn't know what it was. I don't either. They sent me a DM. Uh, all right. Shout out David Alvarez and Dave Bautiste. <laughs> the Little Caesars Cheesy Puss has been ordered. Check it out on patreon.com slash just Trish. We're about to snack it down. Okay, we got our last leg here. What's what's the good hot topics? What's the juice? What's the title? What are we gonna? I'm excited now. The pizza's coming. The food's coming. <laughs> now Everything's we have a good. Line. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not the title at all, but I think it's funny. <laughs> um, a Shein customer um, received a vial of human blood in their package. Oh, we talked about this. I think didn't we last no. week? No, no, it, it happened after. Yeah. Oh, you saw after. it? Oh, did we see yeah, it? Yeah, I saw that. There was another something else in the package. Um, oh yeah, 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 and Mexican, a can oh. of Mexican beans. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that. Oh yeah, that's crazy. So like, how did that even happen? Was it like a blood testing site that sent it? Um, I guess Ugh. she had reached out to FedEx. It ended up being a FedEx issue, but in my head, I, Blame I Shein. love the narrative of like Shein. Yeah, with like what happened? They switched up. What happened? I guess they kind of blamed it on like sometimes with FedEx. <laughs> allegedly i guess <laughs> when they like packages rip or something the delivery driver will kind of just like do their best to <laughs> guess what packages came in what or whatever so i they think it ripped and then they just put all this in one package but, but why it was would a, blood a single vial <laughs> yeah. because i get blood when i like do impregnate but they put them on these things and i'm sure they don't send all the vials yeah. over like you send a single vial Mm-hmm. Maybe it's like twenty three and me. Maybe it's like the extended version of it. It's like if you really want to get the accurate Said reading or something. She um, went to a lab to figure out what, like, the origin of the vial of blood was, and she claims Ew. that a lab director from Exact Sciences revealed the vial's origin to be um, like a cancer screening, like oh. a site that uses cancer screening, not for any type of infection testing. And that doesn't make it any better. Who meant for the lab? Yeah, it's giving. Thera got what was Thera Theranos. <laughs> oh yeah. It's giving Theranos for <laughs> Theranos. sure. Like just oops, <laughs> sent the wrong blood somewhere. Like what? Who like what company? Even if you are doing the cancer research for it, like what company is like that? Oh, so you're saying FedEx, I see. Yeah, it's but also, FedEx. But... Do you send vials of blood through FedEx? I have no idea. Like those quest companies, like there's no way they're sending like vials of blood in the mail. I don't think so. That seems like illegal. It's, it's possible, but I think if I was the driver and I found the vial of blood, I would not <laughs> Stuff it in a random. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like I would Mexican like beans. I would be like FedEx. Hey, I found this. We gotta make sure this goes to the right place. It sounds like he was trolling because he put the Mexican beans and the vile blood in the same package. Like, <laughs> obviously, those end. don't go together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy did not care, or girl, or whoever. He was just like, I don't really care about it's like, that. I'm just getting paid to. Yeah. Oh, wild. so I wonder who she could sue FedEx. I mean, I'd rather sue FedEx than Shein. They probably will pay out more. Shein's like overseas. It's hard to sue them. <laughs> yeah. FedEx is going to have that money. That's disgusting. That's so gross. Like, I, I don't know. care if it's diseased or not diseased. It's still. Yeah. And I, I guess like the headline though, like immediately was like, oh, what is Shein up to now? Like send Danny <laughs> back. Like so we Danny, need to. We need a Danny here. I wish she would talk about Shein. I did know her manager at one point and they're like, she won't talk about Shein. I was like. I wish she would because it's so iconic now. Yeah. I feel like now is one of those it's like Michaela with the later. telescope yeah it's like you know it does become iconic uh-huh. it's not that serious not that it's serious but not that serious like her she's not so serious in it yeah it's not really her fault you yeah know? yeah it's not like she has any she was stake doing- in Shein or whatever no yeah. she was boots on the ground that's <laughs> it you best. know yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it <laughs> I love her I like wish she'd come on I love <sighs> all her videos like all her little TikToks with the captions and the music, I'm like, this is a vibe. Yeah, yeah. no, she really, really gets it. Mm-hmm. I want to have um. There's another influencer. Do you know Remy Joe Bader? She had just had a big breakup. She was on Hot Mess with Alex Earl. Hot, yeah, Alex Earl's interviewing TikTokers. I'm like, oh my god, one more person I have to compete with. When she came up, I was like, oh god, I have to compete with her because she's just kind of like you know giving single girl, solo girl vibes. Um, but now she's interviewing guests. I was like, oh, that's it. I'm done. Just Trish oh, is yeah, over. Mm-hmm. I love her. I want to interview her too. Alex Earl's getting all the guests. Alex Earl's the new caller daddy. I guess that's what they're kind of marketing her to be, right? Yeah, I think that's kind of that's the, the new Alex the plan. Yeah, she's great. We love her. Questionable that she sounds with David, but 
it's not that serious. Everyone was like coming for me. They're like, well, what about this person? I'm like, I don't care. Everyone's friends with David. I get it. <laughs> yeah. It is crazy how all these influencers are friends with David. I guess this is like you look up to someone. It's kind of thing you like look up to them and then you just want to be friends with them and uh-huh. you forget the problematicness of it. Yeah. I think I'm too close. I'm too close to the fire. I can't really. It's true. I get why you would have the extra bias though, because you yeah <laughs> you were a witness to a lot of the PTSD of it all. Yeah. Oh, more he yeah. was witness to a lot of her private life. See, yeah, that's you know, yeah. all of it. All of it around. I don't know. Just be who you want to be friends with, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know what to say sometimes. I'm just like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I give up. Sometimes you just give up. Like, you know, when people like try to combat you with things you said in the past. I guess. I guess I, I said that. It's fine. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just trying to keep my one and a half year old from running off the strip. You know what I mean? Like, it's just there's a lot. There's like, a lot whatever happening. Whatever you say. Yeah. yeah. It's like there's so many other things going on right now that I can't. <laughs> possibly focus on all these things but i don't care at the end of the day i guess barney's beanery is the new saddle ranch i've been hearing from all these influencers that kind of makes sense you should yeah. go there boots on the ground journalist and okay what's like a hot day that they would go i think it's like the not hot day like thursday is like the day you go yeah, like not it can't a, be the obvious day friday saturday no yeah. and that's where you get all like who's dating who for real uh-huh. and i can see you there i would love to see you there I'd be like in the corner with like big sunglasses on, kind of like Kim Kardashian yeah. playing poker vibes, you know, just like, like big sunglasses, like hat. Yeah, I would go with my big shield Chanel glasses <laughs> and my rainbow Birkin. Just serve all the looks. Oh my gosh. Shein. God, could you imagine I'm a face of Shein next? <laughs> I'll do it. I would love to see you investigate to. the factory because you they would sell you like on anything. I yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You'd well, like, I'll thank oh. you. You could be the realness of it. Yeah, I'd have to like really push and like ask the questions. But I'll be like, I love it. Fashion Nova's not giving me that brand deal. I'm going to Shein. Oh, breaking news. <gasps> really? Um, through a TMZ photo, Kate Middleton was seen at a farm shop with Prince William this weekend. Real? <gasps> Let's see. I mean, is it the back of her head? It, the clip TMZ says the clip was taken on Saturday, mm-hmm. and the Sun reported I went. The Sun reported eyewitnesses saw them out and about this past weekend. So onlookers felt she looked happy, relaxed, and healthy as she strolled in the store. Decoy. I think that girl's pregnant. That's my real take on it. I think the mistress is pregnant for real. With the name, I cannot even pronounce that name. Who the mistress? Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, Sarah Rose. Okay, her official name is Sarah Rose Comondelli, Marcionis of Shamondeli. Shamondeli? <laughs> I'm pronouncing it so wrong. No, I and feel... People from, like, wherever she's from are going to be like, I can't believe they can't pronounce this. I mean, I don't think that's but, a city, is it? I don't know. Well, that's definitely real. I mean, I don't think that comes out of nowhere. You know what I mean? I feel like that's, like, a... And did you see that photo where it's, like, um, William, Kate, and then... She's like right next to William. It's like the three of them. It's an old photo. Oh, it's very yeah. Camilla, Charles, Diana. Yeah, very. Oh, I hate that. So it it's kind weird. of real that they know each other. Yeah, because they were photographed together. But does the picture look grainy? Does it look it's like a grainy. Bigfoot? It's from far away. That's sus. That's like Bigfoot. You know what I mean? It's like oh, kind of looks like Sasquatch. I guess I don't know. Like you know, it's like that's because a... again. People's cameras are so good, like paparazzi, iPhones. They take good photos. Why is it grainy? Why does it look like that? Especially and only only oh, one there person is saw video. It? There is video. No, they're like literally in public, and there's people around. But if she's doing well like that, then why not just take a video yeah. and be like, "I'm still here." Literally, just put a video on social media. We see Meghan Markle what doing it all heck? the time. Like, have just one little. That's I don't know. so weird. It is odd. No, the whole thing is weird. Like, them saying not saying anything and then, like, oh, there's going to be a statement soon. And it's, like, just do something. Do a video. They, I'm sure they have, like, an Instagram for them or something. So crazy. Like, why? I, I got a little scared reading the conspiracies. I was like, oh, my God. People think they, like, on a live turn and stuff like that. Or, yeah. yeah. Or, like, a mental institution. They're like, oh, no, physically she's okay, but mentally she's in the same. Like, either way, it's, like, so scary. I'm kind of tired of talking about her, but JoJo Siwa's rebrand. I'm so over talking I'm about her, though. I'm so over JoJo. Unless she wants to come on and be real JoJo. Be like, why are you such a hater about everything in life right now? Like, why are you so naive? Why have you not? Like, I just want to know all these answers. But, yeah. Did she come out? Come out? I know we talked about the tease where it's like, ooh, it's going to be adult. And- she just posted another, um, t- another tease to her, the lyrics. She posted, this is what she looks like in the video. Very JoJo. It's evil JoJo. It's evil JoJo, yeah. Okay. I, and, you know what? I kind of appreciate the artisticness of it. Who had their villain era? Who was like a villain? Like they had this whole, oh, was it Nicki Minaj with like Roman? Like, oh, uh, you know, yeah. like wasn't she like. 
It is very like typical, like pop girl goes bad, like yeah, uh, Miley Cyrus. Alter ego. How it can't be tamed. And, yeah. Um, she teased the caption with the lyrics, I was a bad girl. I did <gasps> some bad things. Well, we know that, Jojo. We know that. <laughs> She admits everything. She's That's like, all that in the yeah, song. yeah, that would be everything. She is. <sighs> she needs to puzzling. just keep going. Yeah, she needs to just keep going with her life. Like, try to become adult JoJo, be evil JoJo, whoever you want to be JoJo, kiss JoJo. <laughs> I don't know. Just stop like talking about other people and their situations, like Maddie and Colleen, and just like keep everyone else's situation out and just focus on you, Jojo, I think that would be better because she kind of thrives. Like, when she's talking about, like, the phone call from heaven, like, you know, kind of thrives. People like her. She gets a little meme and campy. But when she starts talking about all these other people, it's, like, just ugh, just bad take, hot take after hot take. I like this. I like this, though. It's, like, okay, now you're evolving into something. Yeah. You're being a little different. You're being edgy. Although I don't like this is just like the music perspective like if you're gonna you know have a new era and be bad okay just do it like the whole lead up and like letting everyone know <laughs> i'm not for kids anymore uh how many titties are gonna come out tonight i'm try i'm hoping my two titties come out did you say that yes she literally said that okay where she's like i'm an adult now this is not for kids like there might be some violence there might be some violence there might be some some titties there's gonna be i'm gonna be bad girl now i'm a bad jojo like girl just do it just do it just do it i like the hype i would hype myself up for I'm it like, get like, ready for a new era <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Because yeah, like, because probably it's not going to live up to the hype. So you got the hype is what makes it fun. Right? It's like, oh my God, what's happening? Like, that's kind of fun. Who did that? Oh, uh, Doja Cat too. She did a whole demon rebrand. Yeah, but then she just, like, she had the music come out. Like, she was a demon. You know what I mean? It right. wasn't like posting, like, hey guys, I'm a demon now. Just so you know, the old Doja is done. I'm like, I'm going to be mean. I'm not going to be a cute girl anymore. I'm going to be bald and I'm going to be a devil. Is like, she bald? Yeah, she shaved her head. Live. Doja. Okay, work. Yeah. Oh, Doja, not yeah. Jojo. Not Jojo, not Jojo. Oh, no. I was like, okay, work. No. Okay. Jojo with the bubble. I like it. I like it. Because <laughs> I also like, I also like the warning in this day and age. We need to warn people that it's not for kids. Colleen's show could be like, okay, not for kids. You, you know that. what I mean? Yeah, you're right. We like a warning. You know, you have all these like kids fan base. You're like, this is not for you. Because JoJo's very kid thing. She should just say that in the disclaimer of all her podcasts that she goes on. Like, not for kids. You know what I mean? Because what I'm about to say is just, like, not an educated statement at all. You know what I mean? So I feel like she gives that disclaimer more often. It's a good thing. Yeah. I like bad JoJo's still, like, glittery, though. She's still, like, She's still, still like, going with yeah. a rhinestone <laughs> eye. Still going a little bit Gene Simmons there. Paul Stanley. I guess you're right. She, you do have to hype it up, I guess. You don't yeah. have to believe you're on hype. But I'm like... Especially when you don't have the substance. I mean, this is like sweetness from me too. It's like, when you know you don't have the substance, the hype is what is exciting. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess to me, it's like, if you want to be a bad girl, then be a bad girl. Because I think if you talk about how you're going to be a bad girl, that makes you not a bad girl. Do you think bad girl in the sense like, oh, I'm bad? Or is it like bad? Like I've done some things. I think it's like, ooh, like I'm edgy now. Like I, I want to have sex and I'm going to oh, drink and wow. I'm going to be naughty. Like that's the kind of. Yeah. Like, I kind of have to. I think when you're that Disney chart, like all of them go through that. I think you kind of have to be like like Miley of it but all. But she just, she didn't give any warning. She just was like. I'm bad. Breaking out of a cage. She was like on the wrecking ball. She was like the right. tongue with like the finger. Like she just did it. And I feel like I love that. Like just do it. Like Taylor, right. her bad girl era, she just came back as a snake. Taylor, bad girl era? Oh. Yeah, reputation. Well, she just Taylor's bad girl era is like... But it would be like the JoJo Seawall bad girl. It's like a Donny girl. Osmond bad guy era. Yeah. It's like, ah, it's like a JoJo <laughs> bad girl era. Like, it's so, like, not who no, they actually JoJo's are. No, JoJo's like, ooh, I'm having sex. I don't think Taylor Swift <laughs> is like, I'm everybody like, she's you like know i'm what killing mean? a man that's kind of who taylor yeah that's she wrote songs about like I, but she's not actually you know what i mean if it was like real that, i don't think jojo is really that bad either i feel like she's still driving around a car with her face on well it. we don't know we don't know the lyrics maybe she's gonna go hardcore <laughs> she's gonna pull a slater and be like you know i, I can't even sing those lyrics on here because it's like i was researching her yesterday i was like oh my god these songs are filthy and i love it but i'm also just like could you imagine if there was a song i loved as a kid about being bad it was willa ford i don't even know if she did any songs after that but i i loved the song i used to sing it all the time when i was like 12 and i was like i want to be bad oh yeah that was Make always in the movies so yeah and i was like the Ooh. makeover scenes in the yeah. movies yeah I wanna be bad and they just put like eyeliner and lipstick on and yeah, like, yeah yeah totally that's <laughs> and i used to say that i used to think it was like oh so sexy I, like, and i still I, I think i did a dancing video with cedric like like a few years ago to that song i was like yeah <laughs> i like a bad girl era i can appreciate it it is weird when they're so kid friendly for so long but like they have to grow up so i respect mm -hmm. 
Um, she did say she's been wanting to do it for a few years, but she was just waiting. So I appreciate that she, you know, waited. was waiting for the That's right what I'm time. Saying. And I kind of like the transitional. I think it's a little more responsible, not to sound like a buddy dud, but you know, it's like, yeah, Miley gets a little shocking when you know her from Hannah Montana. And then all of a sudden she's like, you know, with underwear on a ball, humping I guess it, so. riding it. But now she's still talking about her babies freddy eddie and teddy and how she has the sperm donor picked out and another one that's one maybe just do girl just go do it we don't need to talk about all of it because it's just like a lot the hype is a lot oh uh, and is I it guess gonna she's be excited. like triplets or i don't know no she's having a girl named freddy oh, and then yes, there's yes, two yes. twins eddie and teddy right. um, i mean the boy for a girl name is kind of a <laughs> kind of our thing but <laughs> go for it i guess especially freddy because she loves like she always loves freddy Freddie mercury, mercury. Yeah, I'm not hating on it. And I think JoJo kind of wants to beat me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think she always has. She's a little Trish coded for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, I could sense it. And, and like I don't her mind little it. trolling eras and stuff too. Trolling right. eras, blinging everything. Uh-huh. Like, hmm. Yeah. And then she also <laughs> is not backing away from controversy though because she's like posting nope. James Charles like her Instagram story and stuff. So wow, She's really going with all the problematics. She really does not She wants to be frick. bad. She's like, look yeah. at this crowd I'm hanging out with. <laughs> Colleen James. We get it, girl. She's like, I'm sorry. And it's so it's so awful because she's so sweet and likable. And then you're like, I just want to be bad with all these bad people. I was like, okay. That cracks me up. Well, you know, she's got to get out there. I like the rebrand. I'm here for the rebrand. If she could just like stop talking about like everything else, like I like it. Like other people's traumas, like we love you, JoJo. Yeah. And I would support it. And I could see her. Being a little wild and stuff like that. I really do want to like her. Yeah. Same. Because she is like, when I met her, she's like nice. And you can tell she's like, even if she won't admit it, like I will never say because someone's a victim, but like if they don't want to be that, but she definitely was like a victim of some child exploitation. Whether it's from Abby TV, something was there because it's like there was a lot and maybe she's handling it better than others. Maybe not. We'll see in her bad girl era, but yeah. yeah. One day she'll come around like 30s, 40s. It's like what they all do. It's like the whole Nickelodeon thing oh, now tea. with the Brian yeah. Peck and all that stuff like that. It's like there was a guy, you know, people just talking about how their experience, like this one boy was in leotards and how he had like noses on it that looked like penises. And, you know, just like later on in life, you're just like, oh, you see things in such a different perspective yeah. where at the time you're like, you're just trying to be on TV or trying to appease the adults around you. You don't say no to adults. And um, so now all these kids are like, no, this was like really inappropriate and really weird and like wrong yeah so i think she'll definitely have that moment for sure that awakening for sure she's still young yeah and especially if she wants to have kids i mean you know like i hope she has like an awakening at that point where like <gasps> like especially when you have kids you're just like i always wanted my kids to be on like tv and stuff like that because i always wanted to and it's like oh, i'm gonna give them all the opportunities but the more i see about this stuff and like the weird tiktok stuff again i don't really like to get into that but like it's kind of like oh i don't know if i want any of this yeah. especially like the tv shows like nickelodeon all this stuff like that i'm just like Kind of weird. And it kind of affects all kids, even the ones that aren't big or stars or something like that. Kind of they all like are a little, mm-hmm. a little much. So I think when you have kids, you're just kind of like, mm, okay, this is weird. And hopefully her, as someone who was that, she wouldn't want that for her kids. I hope not. I hope she wouldn't be okay with her kids just getting screamed at by some like middle-aged lady on TV for everyone to like make fun of. And it's a lot. Yeah. It makes me sad. When I see those clips of dance moms, oh my God, I see it a lot now. I'm like, oh my God, this is like actually ick. I would never. I don't really judge parents, but sometimes that show I'm just like, I would take my kid out immediately if they were getting yelled at. Like, that's great. Like, there's just no amount of money, no amount of money that could be worth it. Like, just having your kid getting humiliated and screamed at on TV. Mm-hmm. Especially when she would talk about, like, people's bad haircuts or your legs are too skinny. It's like, all that stuff. I was like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? It's wild. Like, it's crazy. I, I should rewatch it all because I'm sure it's like, but it would make me so mad. But anyways, that's, that's that. All right, JoJo. Well... At least she's doing good. At least she's, like, not addicted to drugs or something. You know what I mean? Like, sure, it could be know. a lot worse. Yeah, I feel like she just has some not great takes. but Yeah. And the the whole batter doesn't even look that bad. It's a little sparkly. Looks like demon <laughs> sparkles, and I like that. We need a, <laughs> we need a sparkly demon. I want to see Taylor Swift's background right now. That's so funny. I'm a snake, and I kill men. <laughs> It just that sounds like it's just funny to think of Taylor Swift bad girl era because she's like you just think of Taylor Swift as being like the most goody girl. Yeah, not like Sabrina. He'll say, "I'll take it bigger," and I said, "Go harder." I was like, "Oh my god, girl, she's horny on stage." <laughs> and it's funny because she says that, and she's like five foot, wearing these like cute little sparkly yeah. like outfits with like her big go go boots. Yeah, and she looks so cute and like baby girl, and then she's like, "Ooh, bend me down <laughs> yeah. on all fours." <laughs> Boy, I want that D. I said, give me more. Is that like, it's very that kind of, uh, yeah. yeah. I was like, damn, girl. I like it again. I like it when they're of age. I mean, like, obviously, like, again, being a fighty, I'm like, oh, okay, that's like a lot. But yeah. at that age, I would have been like that too. <laughs> I wish Taylor Swift would be like that. That'd be everything. 
She's just, but she's just cute. Yeah. You know, we gotta have the cutesy girls too. I miss those girls too. We like, we like the cutesy girls. <laughs> I like the bad girls more. I guess I, I would be more. That's why I never like resonated with Taylor. Cause like, oh, she's too goody. <laughs> I need someone bad. <laughs> Christina Aguilar, dirty era. <laughs> Very that. Oh man. <sighs> what else? Um, should we do? I was gonna save it for Patreon, but the there's two that we could use, I guess, for like two different stories that we could use for like a title or thumbnail, whatever. Okay. The Gabby update, because then she posted like a an update video a post about like why she's back. But it, there's nothing like really that tea in yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see anything about it. But um, we could talk about it. I don't care. Um, or you might be scared about it though. Jeffrey coming from Michaela again. <laughs> What are your thoughts? Which one should we do? I don't know. I like that I, one. It I sounds know. juicier. Well, I mean, people are kind of like over us talking about Gabby. Yeah, I was going to say, especially. So, so, no, I mean, no, what did he say about Michaela? Like, um, he just dragged her again, how she comes, how she lies and does, and she takes like every like endorsement. She's like, and how he's not going to be doing a brand deal every day, like other influencers. And then um, it turns out. I think uh, like Spill Shesh went and like got saw like old Jeffrey interviews and how like he invited her to the ranch once and he and she distanced himself uh, from him. So that's that's kind of why he's kind of focusing and going in on her she, a lot. Yeah, rejected. Yeah, and then Michaela gave an update about how this year is going to be her year of yes and she's going to say yes to every opportunity <laughs> and all these brand trips and stuff, which is ironic because I feel like she says yes to everything. But right? Yeah, yeah she's already there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, was that your intro? No, that was me giving you the tea. Okay. <laughs> so you could decide. <laughs> um, ooh. It's fine. Yeah. You don't have to say anything about Okay. Yeah. Criticizing him. Yeah. Anything. I mean, it's just. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> I like that intro. Are you going to keep it? I like no. that. That was good. Okay, we can keep it. You kind of gave Now you're in the beauty community. Huh? Now you're in the beauty That's right. community. I am a beauty influencer. Oh, yeah. yeah. You are a I beauty am. girl now. Okay, beauty creation. No, putting me in the beauty world. Power over here. Okay, I have my, I'll give my input as a beauty. <laughs> talk free. Talk free. Is that what you said? Talk free. Yeah. Got <laughs> ah, okay. I have to be the worst spokesperson ever. Um, okay, I love that draw. I think you should keep the whole thing in. I like the whole we'll thing. Like, that. Are we talking yeah. about Gabby or are we talking about Jeffrey? Uh, I actually, I haven't seen Gabby, but... Um, okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I am so bad at talking about this because like I like, like I really don't have strong opinions either way. I feel like Jeffrey is Jeffrey. I feel like that's like his shtick, right? Like he's kind of I can't imagine him in like his real life like caring about Michaela like this. Yeah. So this is kind of his thing. Michaela's really big, so I think it's like good to have like you kind of like want not even beef, but just like being attached to someone like that. Michaela gets called out a lot. Let's just be real; she gets called out from so many people. So. I don't even know if they're necessarily – what's he calling out for really? Is it lying or is it just taking brand deals? I think both. I think because she does so many brand deals and she'll say something is good and then, you know, have it not actually be good. But Jeffrey, you know, his whole thing is keeping it real. Like you can't but doesn't he... buy his opinion or whatever. Because they're like in different places, right? He makes makeup. She reviews makeup. He also reviews it. Yeah. But on the way of – but he's a... he also makes, right? So, mm-hmm. I mean – he criticizes somebody it's like criticizing the critique of i think it's different i think he can afford to not take brand deals do you know what i mean like i feel like he's so rich like obviously he had that house in calabasas that everyone knows sold for like 20 million dollars he bought it for like 15 like he makes money he has his brand so i think when you can like afford to it's easy to say like it's kind of like the tiktok panhandling of it all it's like you know when you when you don't have to do that it's easy to be like you know why are you doing this that's so like fake or whatever like that but someone someone who I would take any brand deal I'd be like whatever give me anything yeah I think it's definitely like his stick I think he definitely likes to go with like the trends I think people like appreciate his realness I think that's like why he keeps like that because there's so many people who dislike Michaela and maybe unwarranted maybe warranted I don't know I feel like she's somewhat unproblematic I think you know again there's just those personalities we always talk about that stuff. like sometimes you just don't like like you know so then you just get hate for no reason yeah and I think Michaela does get a lot of hate for no reason um Cause like it's you know not everyone's cup of tea. She's not like not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't like whatever. Was he like less? Was this like on live? Because by the way, Jeffrey's like number three on the live charts. Like really, yeah, he's I had no really idea. high up there. So I always wonder if he does it for like the engagement on TikTok because she's so big on TikTok. Um, Maybe I mean I it's, regardless is smart because I mean it it gives back the old like Jeffrey versus Manny Laura Nikita <laughs> vibes. You know what I mean? Like yeah, because it. 
it is kind of fierce to have like an adversary. Granted, this one's like very one sided, I think, but <laughs> yeah, to yeah, kind of have like an adversary who's like in does the same like beauty stuff and is like also like popular, you know, and it's just like you kind of have this rivalry going on and like <laughs> just to keep it up so consistently. It's kind of fierce, I guess. It gives people something to talk like about. Like me and Lucy like, DeLuca. Okay. <laughs> Literally very <married> that. <laughs> the one-sidedness of it all. Yeah. I don't want... I, I feel bad for Mikhail only because, like, it is the worst to have, like, Jeffrey on you because he's just... He is so, like, fearless and, like, he can just be so intense and it's like... Yeah, that's... And as someone who's, like, I'm very not confident, you're just like, oh, my God, please don't come on me. You know what I mean? Like, what up, please? I don't want any beef. You know what I mean? Um, but it can be the worst, especially when you're, like, young. I think that's the only thing is, like, when you're so young and you're kind of new and you are popping, you just don't want someone to you know be on you yeah it seems to like not really phase her though i mean like the what's the matthew tanner thing she did respond to you know what i mean so she does respond sometimes like to people i guess so the fact that she's never caught back i guess she's just like yeah but it's also at that point like what can you say like you can't give yeah. give a mouse a cookie you know and it's like and then it comes a back and forth yeah. and it's just like a lot it's giving very michelle the shots with or adore delano <laughs> I saw that clip recently, and I because I didn't finish the season. She went so in. I was like, I don't know. I I flip with her because I like her. I like her. I like the what she's doing. I think she's glam. I think everything she's in Adam's family right now. I like her. But then I see some of those. I'm like, guys, it's like really harsh. It's giving Patty from like celebrity matchmaker or like billionaire matchmaker. It's just like harsh for no reason. You know what I yeah. mean? And it's like I don't know. Just like so mean. You can see Adore just like trying to keep it together, and he's just she's just like I I don't know, like crumbling. So I don't know. I don't anyways yeah. that's an obscure reference but yeah, like, <laughs> that's what I never want to be I just never want to be the person like that's what I'm saying sometimes I have to think about this like with like Jojo but it's like a little different because like Michaela's like kind of just taking brand deals uh, did she lie I don't know I guess the telescopic thing was the thing but is there more lies I, I don't know I don't know either I think a lot of the time she like says this foundation is great I think she did one where like she loved a foundation but then it was in her thing to throw out or something something like that but, but then anyone that does sponsorships yeah 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 i mean ads and the more you do the more you'll basically uh, review things that you don't like and don't want so i mean oh for anyone sure. that expects her to not lie doesn't understand her job because also there's like lying and then there's also just like you know selling a product like you know maybe it's not her favorite in the whole world but like it's good you know what i mean like you get, you get a product it's like maybe it's not the best thing ever but it's like like I had one that just sent me like a little like bag and it wasn't like my favorite. I didn't get paid for it or anything like that, but I still felt bad. I'm like, I should post about it. It wasn't awful, but I wasn't like, I wasn't like, this is the best bag ever. I'm like, look at my cute bag. <laughs> Yeah. It was I mean, cute. But when you turn on the TV, every commercial you watch is a lie. Like, yeah, serious, like every commercial you watch, none of them. That's true. You know, so they that's do just the, the difference the between syrup, actor and the syrup is different. They mm. don't actually use syrup. They use like uh, molasses or something. Yeah. Not I don't know. Whatever. They use something that's not it. But then also sometimes too with Michaela, like she doesn't disclose when her thing her posts are ads too so then that's also oh, where she gets the Jacqueline bought. Hill of TikTok yeah no shade to that. Jacqueline but I know the job channels hated when Jacqueline wouldn't disclose yeah. if it's a brand deal um I'm surprised because TikTok's pretty strict on that people always try to like be like oh it's a brand deal. I was like you have to pretty much disclose when mm -hmm. it is with her I would just assume everything is a brand deal I <laughs> that's think she'll do it for look free at, at this point yeah <laughs> for real well big. she did the Matthew Stevens bronzer for free that's crazy well she didn't do it <laughs> Like, well, she ended was, up doing it more so. Right, it became like a whole became thing. A whole thing, but yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, Michaela. Yep. Yeah, you know what? Not uh, my vibe. I'm. I'm not team anyone on this one. Michelle? I'll say team Jeffrey. So it doesn't come for me. <laughs> 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 team Jeffrey always. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, gamer girl trash. Um. By the way, I didn't know Belle Delphine was. Someone said she was problematic. I did not Is know she? that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, everyone's like she does this. I didn't know. I think the gaming world in general, besides our Pokey main girl, yeah, I think they're knows. all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's the only unproblematic one we stand. So. <laughs> damn so that much wild. drama and then yeah the part two to that is oh. that michaela is oh. now this is her year of yes which everyone thinks is kind of ironic because she, she, <laughs> she says, says yes to everything what, but she says she's gonna go on all the brand trips she's going to new york and la oh. and who knows maybe she'll be on the next tart trip or i'm something. DMing I don't her know. come on just trip. Know, her year we need yes. to see you on a podcast girl <laughs> yeah we need to see you on, i know canceled really once or two i think she'd do good on canceled i would love to have her on here like she's I know she would like answer questions and she like all, a lot of my guests will always be like actually can you take this part out always always every guest wants to take the juicy part I'm like no but you've talked to her before right or she invited she you invited to the wedding. wedding yeah so there you go I don't think we really DM'd maybe once we DM'd and then she got invited me to her wedding and I was like should have gone honestly had I known <laughs> me James Charles Patrick Starr that would have been 
I'm something. a beauty girl. That was my intro to the beauty world. Oh my god, that okay. Yeah, you have to reach out to her and say now that you're a beauty girl, and then say like, do you want to review my my, <laughs> my pink my pink powder my pink cloud? That's that, not mine. Just the face of it. I wish it was a Trisha pink cloud. That'd be cool. But um, maybe she'll review it. You have to DM her, please. Okay. Be like, hey girl, we want an honest review. Jeffrey too. Could you give an honest review of our pink cloud? <laughs> I genuinely like this. I'm being so, so serious. Like, I, know, I was I'm like, scared shit. of Jeffrey's review because sometimes he just throws it away without trying it, you know? Com- Wait, what? Really? That's no, what he did to Hailey Bieber. But then how can you give a review if you don't try it? <laughs> no. You're just like, trash. <laughs> I, I actually wouldn't be scared. I feel like he actually would like this. <laughs> we love a beauty creations moment. Um, yeah, go check it out at the Cerritos Mall. Are you close to... No, you're not close. No. I was thinking, why do I think of you as, like, the Inland Empire? You're like, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> someone I know is out there, and I'm always, like, I always think about them. Maybe it's my hairdresser or something. I don't know, someone. Cerritos Mall, check it out. The Shout Beauty out. Creations, Shoddy Bay, <laughs> Beauty Creations. Who else are we shouting out? Donny Osmond. Jeffree Star, Pokemane. Pokemane, definitely shout out Pokemane to her. Yummy, she's one of our girls now. Hassan, Hassan. the people we protect is... Scotland. Scotland, uh, big shout out Scotland. Big shout out Scotland. <laughs> we didn't Pe- even peacock. plan on it. Hmm? Peacock, the peacock. Twitter, big shout out. Peacock, we love you. Las Vegas. Feastables, we want some more chocolate. <laughs> oh, Feastables, Little one. Caesars is coming. <laughs> our Patreon users, patreon.com slash just shout out to you guys. Uh, we didn't even Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson. Shout out to you. Logan said he would never because Mike was too old. So <laughs> those Paul brothers, man, they really know how to get everywhere. You know what I mean? I would fight. I would fight. Um, who would I fight if I had to fight somebody in a boxing match? Oh, I don't know. Who's like a fair, like an equal yeah. component to me? Michaela. She's younger. That's not fair. I feel like she, I'm the Mike Tyson. She'd be the Jake Paul. It's like not fair. MJ from the Traders. Oh, she would kick my. Think? Yeah. She's, I feel like she's similar to you where you'd both be very afraid and timid. And like- very much so. <laughs> she's similar to me and she's an awful player of the game and that would be me. But she made it to the end because she was so bad no one thought it saw her as a threat. They're like, she's actually awful. That would be me. Like, she, I don't think she ever watched a show ever of the Traders, but that would be me. I would have no idea. Like, in the game, I would have no clue what was happening. I'm so oblivious to everything. Um, I would just be staring at Alan the whole time. My luck, they'd have a new host for season three and Alan Cummings on it. Be some girl or something. I'm like, no, where is Alan Cumming? It'd be like Carolyn Ray or something. I feel like she was the host well, you're for probably, I mean, you probably end up being a traitor because then you get more alone time with him, you know, in the tower. <gasps> when I thought about that at the end when it was just him and Kate and they got to act. Because you get to act a little bit. Like, hello, yeah. who are we going to take tonight? Oh, are they going to murder somebody? I'd be like, it would, I would get so into it. Just get into your tra- tavern mode. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, I could be a tavern girl on there. That would <laughs> be, be really good. Yeah. Oh, oh, I have dreams about this now. This is my ultimate dream. <laughs> I think they what I'm visualizing is that they will bring you like they brought Kate. Oh, like halfway through. No, why like would I come in halfway through? Because then, then the chaos begins. You know, it's like I thought she was I thought that was not a good game changer. I thought this was like she who's wasn't this person? Good, but- I don't like it. I think they probably did that to fit her schedule or something because that was weird. I was like, yeah, why do you need to come to in? Fit her schedule. I don't know her, but it's like kind of weird, right? Like, yeah. was she that big of a draw the first season? I don't know. Maybe she was, but mm-hmm. mm. she was chaotic. But what is she even from? Not to be whatever, but what's she from? Deck, I think. It's a Bravo sailing show. No more Bravo people <laughs> on Trader season three. We do not need a Bravo. We need like a social media click. Yeah, I, there's some Bravo people that I love. I mean, Phaedra Ooh. was great on it. Um, what other... <gasps> do you ever see that clip of Phaedra on TikTok? Have we talked about that? With where... the gay boy? No, we're oh. talking about being. <laughs> Six or seven months, or five or six months pregnant. She's, oh, this yes. baby's about to come out of yeah. here. Like, isn't that dangerous? She's like, oh no, she I'm not all the organs. <laughs> she could be lying. That was wild. That was like, wait, what? I love like, her. She must be saying stuff. And so was like, she not pregnant or what? No, like, but she was she right. Did she have had a baby. baby. Yeah. Oh. She's like, and then like, how far like she's like, I don't know. It's maybe about to come out here. So I think she skewed the date so it was like after she got married or something like that. So it wasn't like out of wedlock or something like that. That was wild because everyone's like, how do you not know your due date? Because she kept switching it and everyone's like, that was crazy. That's all I knew her from. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> kind of love it. But that's how, that's who you need on the show. I liked her. She looked good. She had like good glam and stuff like that. I could see like Erica Jane. Like you and Erica Jane would be like a good duo, I think. I always wonder if she would like me. I feel I like she, she won would. it. Why? I don't know. You know, you just like, get a sense sometimes. Like I do love Erica Jane. I know all her songs, but I don't think she would like me. I think you just assume that like yeah, a pretty blonde thinks, girl would not like you. You know why? She thinks that's about too many people. She no, because the one time I was on Housewives, Erica Jane's like, mm, this eating, I just don't get it. And I, she was watching a video of me. Oh. Yeah, but that doesn't mean personal to you. 
Well, I took it personally. <laughs> <laughs> I took it very personally. Uh, no selling sunset people. I don't want any selling sunset people on oh, with me. No. Unless it's Christine. Oh, like, Christine, I might obviously. Too yeah. many blonde bombshells, I guess. But Christine would be. We funny. need all blondes. We need Holly, Tana, <laughs> Christine, Janelle again. Janelle should have a comeback. I do love Janelle. Mostly because she referred me to the show. So. <laughs> you know, Donny Osmond. Oh. <laughs> Could you imagine it would like He'll Donny win Asman? though. He'll win. Why? Oh, because he, he does win everything. Every, every show he's been on, he's done Dancing with the Stars. He did Magic with the Stars with Chris Angel, which is not in his little thing. He uh, Fear Factor. He won. Mass Singer. Mass Singer. He won. You're right. Dancing with the Stars. Oh my God. Why does he win everything? Because he's amazing. He's so good. Oh God, I love him. God, Donny Osmond, you're so good. Please check out his show at Harris Las Vegas. So amazing. Um, anything else? That's it. That's Food it. is almost yeah. here, and is it actually almost here? Yeah. Almost. Are we at three three mi- three hour mark or no? We're there. Yeah. yeah. What are we at? Like three ten, but with a few little. Three ten, isn't that um, John verse three ten at the end, couple yeah. in and out burger? Oh, is right. It? Isn't it at the back? Isn't it like? Yeah, there is. A what verse. is that one? What is did someone in the Bible tell us? Like someone in the Bible <laughs> tell us? Yeah, <laughs> someone in the Bible. Please get a time machine and reach out. Three ten, John three ten. Isn't it like do unto others as you can do? Or it may be like God so loved the world that He blessed His only Son. It's like one of those really popular. Are you a biblical person? Um, no, but maybe okay. it's, it says like Thou shalt in and out. That's what a hamburger is all about. What? Isn't that the quote? Are you getting delirious? What, uh, so is it the, what? Is it Corinthians or is it? No, John 3.10. Just type in John 3.10. It's like a really famous Bible verse. Yeah, no, I put 3.10, but... John 3.10. Oh, here. Corinthians is something different. John 3.10. For God so loved the world... That is how we it. know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child. That's not the first. Nor is anyone who How does. How about type an in and out Bible verse? <laughs> no, in and out Bible. Yeah. Is it Revelations? No. What? Just type an in and out Bible verse. on the Like, it's on the cups. Like, just type an in and out Bible verse for real. For God so loved the world. For the world that he gave his only son. Yeah. That's what it is. And what is it? John what? Um, it should say it. John. Oh, wait. That's the soda cups. And then the milkshake yeah. cups has Proverbs 3, 5 on it. Oh, well, that one I don't know. John 3, 16 is the, cu- oh, 3, the soda cup. We were six off. Man, it's almost three fourteen. <laughs> oh, and the double-double has a different Bible verse. What's that one? Nahum 1, 7. The Lord is, a, <laughs> is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and knoweth them that trust in him. Wow, you can like collect them all, I guess. We love that. <laughs> we love that they're open on Sunday and they're not homophobic as far as we know. So <laughs> As far as we know, yeah. I do want a frozen and lemonade. And they pay their workers well, I think. Yeah, I think so too. And they're on it. They never mess up an order. God, yeah. i got to get in and out yeah, they all have, And the fry trays have Proverbs 24, 16. Wow, you're protected. And the coffee cups have Luke 6, 35. Oh my God. Oh my God, well, literally. Look, look warm. All the verses. You can get all the whole it. Bible in yeah. and out, basically. I kind of oh. live for that. <laughs> yeah. We love that. Shout out in and out in the Bible. Shout out in and out in the Bible. <laughs> for giving us Joseph the Bates and our dream coat and Moses. You know, it's very <laughs> biblical over here. And my photographer's name is Isaiah. So when he's here, it's a whole biblical experience. <laughs> Me and Oscar, we have no Bible connections with our names. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure there's a church in the Bible somewhere, don't you I think? I don't think so. I don't think there's a church anywhere except on Food Network. <laughs> and you're Oscar the Grouch. Or the Baloney. Oh, which one would you rather be? An Oscar Probably Meyer Wiener? Grouch. I don't really like bologna. I don't either. I think Tana does. I always hear her eating. Does she eat bologna in front of her boyfriend? Oh, I think you're right. I always remember her just being like, I'm eating bologna right now. I love how her TikToks are just like not about anything and I find them so entertaining. <laughs> She's like, guys, I'm eating bologna in front of my boyfriend. <laughs> and I love that. I love this, the nonsense of it all. <laughs> Talk, Sabrina Carpenter nonsense. It all comes back oh, around. Oh, let's get her on the show. Okay. How? You know her makeup artist. I do. Or hair. 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 Yeah, reach out. Sabrina Carpenter. Michaela. You have a lot of DMs to make after this show. Yeah, Michaela, Sabrina. Pokey follow up. Oh, Pokey follow up. Yeah. Mm, Hassan, you should just give it a shot while you're at it. That's so awkward. You doing it is cool. Me, he'll be like, he'll probably <laughs> try to expose me on Twitch or something. Like, oh my God, this good DM. But now loser. you have an excuse because you can just say it's for me. And we have like three weeks of video footage that has me begging. <laughs> I would love to know his 23 and me. <laughs> I think I know what you're saying, but I think like I know he's from Turkey or something, but I think like he has some Chinese roots in him. I think I have some Chinese roots. Mongolian. That's different. I think I have Mongolian roots. Oh. When are we doing this 23andMe? 
when you sell the Birkin. Oh. Wait, oh, well. well no, just, they're both are becoming an urban legend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, an urban. Oh, God. I was like, Don't damn. you have the kids? But yeah. <laughs> but you can't eat, and I'm always eating. You can't eat 30 minutes before, which I don't know why. <laughs> and I always have food in me. Like, I always eat. So, is it here? Is Little Caesars here? Almost here. So, are we going to. How many minutes? We can going to say going. goodbye. No. <laughs> Should I do some thumbnails while we wait? Oh, yeah, yeah do the thumbnails. Great do job thumbnails. on the. Would you guys okay. want to see how I make the thumbnails? Go to patreon.com. Okay, guys. We're all here for and giggles. We're here for the key. We just like to laugh, love, live. We support everyone. We want beef with no one. Not BFFs, not Jeffrey, nobody. Not JoJo. We want her to do well. We want everyone to succeed. Stay off drugs. Give those hugs. I'll see you in Scotland on Trader Season 3 and Joseph and the Amazing Tech of Dreamcoat starring me and Donnie Asman. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.